up, everybody? This is Carrick with ACG, and I'm here with Takedown TKD Hello. Gaming, who actually remembers his shit today. I do. Um, we are going to go and discuss all kinds of stuff. This is one of those uh, places. I'm just trying to just trying to take care of one Rub of the myself social down media on posts. The yeah. We, um, bunch of shit we're going to cover today. Like I told you guys, these are just us talking about random shit. So you never quite know what we're going to talk about, what we're going to say. But I would love for you guys, if you have any... Uh, no, these are very old. I just put, I just found them, though. Um, if anybody has anything that they want us to talk about, feel free to post it in the chat. And we definitely will. Sunglasses. People always ask, why do I wear them? Because I had surgery and my eyes hurt after being in front of lights. So I like to occasionally put them on. Takedown's got the white ones. I don't know, man. I don't know if anybody can white or rock the white rims. Like, that's pretty difficult. You, you gotta be can. like Flavor Flav, right? Flavor Flav could do it. Maybe... Team, gonna post off there. there we go. Now you're just a, a typical ASMR streamer. Where rub the bear <laughs> against the mic. Hello, this is my bear. Dude, that worked pretty well. As AM, <laughs> just so you know. That was that actually... It's, it's the bear, it's not me. Fuck you. That actually worked, that actually worked quite well. <laughs> Um, let's see. So make sure I made all my social media posts. Always got to make sure I do those. Um, we always go through one bit of strange or two or three bits of strange news. And then the person who's reading them lets the other person decide which one we want to cover first. Ta today's is Takedown's Chance. If you guys get a chance, yes. I would love for you to tweet out that I'm doing this. If you have Facebook, put it on Facebook. We're trying to get the podcast to get some kind of traction, which they're doing very well, but I would love for it. Oh, Shadow just said he did. And let's go. Give me the news story headlines first. What do you got? All right, let's have a look. Uh, I've got... I'm going to post into a chat after I give the headline. Oh, yeah. Uh, links work in the chat now for takedown. We don't know why, but as long as they Magic. do now, that's all that matters. Yeah, go for it. So there was a man who had really bad back pain, so he thought injecting semen. Oh into yeah, his let's talk about back. that. That wins. I saw it too. I saw it too. Post that. <laughs> post that. That's the first discussion. That is the craziest thing I've I've heard in years. Okay. So so read make sure to give a statement of who it's from, what website, and go ahead and read the first like two paragraphs. Okay, I'm reading this one. This is health.com. So it's, it seems legit. Seems Ooh, legit. Yeah, let's do this. Uh, it's written weird. A, a prime example is the case of a man in Ireland who thought injecting his own semen into his arm would cure his chronic back pain. Uh, in a new case study published in the Irish Medical Journal, doctors from the Adelaide and Meath Hospital in Dublin say the 33-year-old man injected his own semen into a vein in his arm once a month for a year and a half, 18 doses total, where he got the idea that this would cure his back pain is unknown, but he told the doctors that he devised the cure without any medical advice. <laughs> oh, <laughs> my God! I, gross. It's d beyond disgusting, but you know what? It's a flat earther kind of attitude towards health, right? Yeah. It's like I got a lot of friends. Have you ever heard of essential oils where you live? Do you know what essential uh, oils? Yeah, I think so. Yeah, the like the diffusers and people are like, here's an oh, oil. Yeah. <clears throat> and dogs, so people don't realize their animals are getting sick because of it. Because it's scientifically proven that uh, any of the diffusers fuck up an animal's lungs because their lungs aren't the same as ours. So dogs and cats are getting sick and dying and people have got the diffuser in their room and can't figure out why Muffy fucking comes down with COPD. It's just, yeah. th that's the thing, man. F did you hear about in America, the big anti-vaxxer group that ended up having the spread of measles and they're blaming it on the government spreading the measles. They're like, no, it wasn't us not doing the injections for our kids. It was that the government injected it. Yeah. I mean, what the <laughs> no, fuck? It's, it's not... Not the fact that you're an idiot and a bad parent. It's the fact the yeah. government did it instead. And you are a bad parent. So you are a genuinely Very. terrible parent. Something backed up completely by science. And uh, like, I get that people have issues with business getting involved and stuff. But this is something that is completely, absolutely, 100% proven by science. And yeah. they are bad parents. They're dangerous parents. I don't, I don't get yep. the outrage. If somebody lets their kid lick a fucking you know, slide at the playground. That's not a bad parent. That's, you know, a stupid one, what have you. But I did it when I was a kid. You can do a lot of stupid shit. But when it comes down to, oh, thank you very much, Game Over Man, for subscribing. But when you come down to it, um, I, I, I don't like the outrage for, you know, parents doing stupid stuff. You know, you don't take their kid away if they do something stupid occasionally, whatever. We all, we're all going to be bad parents and stupid kids. But that's dumb. That's that's like deciding against every day, prepare, uh, you know, preparing your kid. And this guy every day woke up and said, I'm going to jack off into a syringe and I'm going to inject it into my yeah. back. 
Like you woke up. Weird. How do you wake up? Don't you ever change your mind on shit? Because I do. Do you wonder if in the year there was one day where he woke up and was like, you know what? My spunk is junk. There's no reason for me to inject it into my back. Like, and exactly. then he talked himself out of it. I mean, I don't know, man. Have you ever done any weird self, like, not, I, I don't want to get too gross, <laughs> but have you ever, has there been anything you believed in when you were younger or your parents did that was health wise? And then when you got older, mm. like an old wives tale, you know, like butter on a burn. Did you ever hear that when you were a kid? They used to believe putting, no. but so this is a big thing in America. It's gone now. They used to believe putting butter on a burn would heal a burn quicker and instead it traps the heat and it actually makes it far far worse um is there anything like that when you were a kid that you remember like old wives tales or medicine maybe, um, maybe you guys are just more advanced than us <laughs> maybe i don't know i don't can't think of any like I've, I've always pretty much just done my own research into stuff so i know i always know what's bullshit like Herbal stuff can be good, but I know which herbal stuff's shit and which herbal stuff's bad. Yeah, one drop of some herb in fucking 800 <clears throat> gallons of water, and somebody be like, my, my fucking Asperger's is gone, or whatever. It's like, dude, those aren't connected. Like, <laughs> I, it, it, it's just stupid. Bunk science bothers the fuck out of me. Like, it, it truly bothers me. And one thing about science that's different about bunk science is that science continually disproves prior science that they thought was right. They don't, if, if somebody else just, that's why a scientific paper goes out to other scientists so they can say, dude, you're fucking wrong. And that's okay. That's the way it should be. It yeah. should have people consistently going, this may have worked back then, but it doesn't work now. This is that you tried to get this to work. It doesn't work now. Look at what's China. I don't know if you heard, but China is probably going to, um, going to kill that doctor who did the ed the CRISPR editing on the children. Did you hear about that? No. You, did you hear about the children that he edited? No. He gene edited? I don't know that. No. So CRISPR is the, is the anti, is sort of like the, the big scientific thing that goes, looks at DNA and they can identify what makes somebody sick and they can edit it mm -hmm. out if they want to. He CRISPR, it's oh. called CRISPR and it, it stands for something I can't remember, but he, I, he at gene edited two children, which is illegal. It's illegal in everywhere. Even China, China, if China thinks it's illegal, you know you're fucked. Because they do some crazy shit. And it, um, they gene edited these, edited these kids. The scientists came forward and said, these two children are gene edited. And then he disappeared. Which is typical China. He disappeared for almost a month. And now he's shown back up and they're saying that there's a good chance that they'll, that they'll give him capital punishment for it and kill him. What do you think mm, about that? Do you that. think gene editing? What do you think about gene editing? Do you think like, like let's say you know your kid's have a 50% chance of some syndrome. Do you believe gene editing is the future and we should edit that out? I mean, hmm. I've been offered that, as I said in the past, for any future I have. <clears throat> I can take out the stuff I've got. If you decided to have kids, right? Because yeah, your parents to, yeah. had it. Yeah, and so you're allowed to have that gene removed. And do you believe yeah. it? Yeah, of course, definitely. I don't want to have to have a child that's going to suffer. Yeah. Yeah, it's it it's I think we've come into the everybody's special moment in life where it's like everybody is special. But if you have the chance of making sure somebody doesn't have a debilitating disease or one that, exactly that, that then then you should do so. Give I believe it's weird that you have parents who are saying we want to give our child every chance and you have a chance to fix that. But you choose. That's the one thing you won't do. It's like we want yeah. our child to have every chance in the world, but we're not going to do anything to give him a chance. We're going to make it as, this one part super hard. So, and I'm not saying it works perfect. It doesn't at all. There's there's a lot of things no. to fix. But what else do we got for weird science oh, or so weird we things? Well, get the link ready. Gene ready uh, Game Over Man says my brother has type one diabetes, and if you could edit that out, I'm all for it. Yeah, for sure. Di <clears throat> people diabetes is this is well like one of those things that people sort of assume is just a pill and you get over it but the health issues when you get older with diabetes are insane like it, it it's definitely not as small as a lot of people treat it what do you got uh let's have a look right oh where is it a 49 year old woman is getting married to her duvet cover and the dress code is pajamas and slippers that is the story i love these stories I love these mentally deranged people. It's yeah. not their fault, maybe, but... Right. Like, don't you think this is going to happen? We've already got people who've married their anime pillows. Don't you think when sex pillows <clears throat> become a thing, 
or sex uh, bots Robots. truly become yeah. a thing. Not You can still buy them now. You can buy dolls with AI. But like true ones, let's say 10 years down the line, people are going to be marrying the fuck out of those, right? Oh, yeah. I mean, it, it's, it's probably more normal to do that than to do a duvet. I think so. Because a duvet <laughs> for you guys is a bed cover for us, right? Is that what it is? It's, uh, it's, it's, it's the whole thing. It's the whole white thing. You have to cover on top of the sheets. duvet. So what, the sheets oh, is okay. the sheets, and then the duvet is the thing, the big white thing you put the sheets in. You okay, the, gotcha. So yeah, what do you call that? Um, we, it, we, would, we have two sheets sometimes. You have your main sheet, and then you have a cover sheet. But, okay, so but, maybe and I'm sure is, yeah. I'm sure they call it duvets here because I know what it is. So it's like I'm sure it's been used here. It's, it's oh, overlapped yeah. here for sure. Um, yeah, I don't know, man. What do you think about that kind of stuff? Do you think that they should even be allowed to marry that, or do you well, think the like the government thing, should be like, "Fuck you"? The first example I ever heard of this was on Boston Legal. If you remember the episode where she wants to marry some object near her house or something. She wanted and they to got marry a about it. the mailbox, didn't she? Or yes, the light something like the that. mailbox, yeah. Something like that. Yeah, yeah, I do remember that. That was the first time I ever remember hearing anything like this, and I was just, like, freaked out. Because unless I'm crazy, which is possible, that episode, she was, like, a hottie, and she showed up, and yeah. they were, like, confused on what was going on, and then she said who she wanted to marry, and they were like... And I think Denny. I think I, Denny I, think I didn't even hit on her, maybe. Yeah. If I remember. Yeah. Yeah, it's crazy. Yeah. I don't know. I just think that's shit stupid. Like, what the fuck ever. I don't know. I think it's stupid, but is it mental illness as well? Yes. Because then if it is, they need help. Yeah, but we're not going to help them because everybody's special. Yeah, everybody's got their moment to shine until they... Uh, Listen to Cat someone. Sleeve. He says, he's in the chat, he says, there was, a, there was a professional archer who married her bow. She probably could have some fun with that bow. Just, just looking at the... Because I've owned a couple bows. If it's a recurve, you don't want to get hair caught in the cams of a compound bow. Ooh. But if it's a recurve... You could probably have a lot of enjoyment from that, but still, probably shouldn't marry. Yeah, but that make that's two meanings though. She married her beau because you can say beau as yeah, in my exactly love. as in your love. That's good. Yeah, yeah, that's Boom. a good one. That's a good double meaning. Yep. What else do we got? Uh, I don't know if I have any more. I can find another one. Oh, actually, I think I had another one on my phone. Oh, no, I, that's and, the semen one. And I've got. <laughs> oh no, that's just semen. <laughs> yeah, that's just semen. <laughs> oh, okay. So I've got a couple crazy ones. This guy has an emotional support alligator. Oh, how cool <laughs> you, is that? Oh, it's a pretty cool. Like, I still think it's dumb, but pretty fucking cool. The idea that he's got an emotional support alligator eats the emotional support ostrich that eats and then just goes through the person's airplane, just chomping like Pac-Man and eating everybody else's emotional support animals. <laughs> I don't know. That's amazing. I'd love to have a. I'd love to have a support worker, but not like a, a dog or a cat. Something mental like an alligator. Yeah, like something uncontrollable. It's just there because to you, it sees you as a food tree, right? You exactly. You magically just somehow give it food. And so it's like, all right, food drops from this thing every once in a while. That's all it's figuring out. It's not as smart as a fucking dog or a cat. It's just Emotional like... Emotional support polar bear or right. grizzly bear oh, or brown dude, bear. Brown bear. But fucking just angry all the time, just... Flicking its genitals and being pissed at the world. But it, being... it loves you so much, it never hurts you, but it attacks everything. Yeah, like, everything around you. <laughs> right. You'd be like, he is the only one who loves me. He's the only one who sticks around. But you didn't never pick up that it ate your family. Um, <laughs> yeah, my family went missing. Where yeah, my bear's got a they don't love me. Mouth. They don't love me. But the, yeah, he's got a <laughs> sneaker. He's got an Adidas sticking out of his mouth. And you're like, he likes Adidas too. So did my brother who's missing. But I haven't put the mm. two together. The other one is 84-year-old Boston man has been hailed as the octopus whisperer <laughs> because basically he can get this octopus to do whatever he wants and like when he goes out and he fucking like goes out with nature nature companies and shit he can like get an octopus to do what he wants Octop uh, from what i understand they're intelligent as fuck right it's octopi they, for they creep me out like a motherfucker they do they do me as well oh they're like snakes but even worse you want you want me to tell you a creepy very real story this was backed oh. up by two people you ready go on go on this is sort of a cthulhu thing so it probably won't creep you out one of my friends was a World War, well, one of my ex-bosses, um, he passed away, was a World War II vet. And they were repairing a ship looking for torpedo damage out in the water. Which So they mm -hmm. sent divers out and they would look. And he said it was like pitch black outside. They've got their lights. They're just looking around at the, I think they were looking at the propeller, he said. And they were trying to figure out if there was any damage to this propeller. And he said, he's like, Carrick, well, he said my real name. He's like, Jeremy. 
<laughs> I felt something watching me. He said he turned around and there was like 1,000 Humboldt octopi just like glowing near him. You know, like not glowing because they don't, but just like swimming near him and staring at him. He couldn't figure out why they were doing it. And they were probably attracted to the light or something like that. But it was the creepiest story. He's like, I, he's like, I was sitting there. I was looking for damage. He's like, all of a sudden, I, I grabbed the side of the boat and I turned around and looked and all these. Dude, that's Whoa. the thing of nightmares to me. Because then yeah. in my nightmares, they attack and they fucking oh, pull they, me apart with their bird beaks. They just rub the, wrap themselves around you and just hug you. But <clears throat> And they Jesus, got, people, people don't realize sick. those aren't just suckers. They have hooks in them. Like they're yeah. like that's why whales have the big marks on them because when they eat them they fucking get all scratched up and they have they have bird beaks. Have you seen an octopus's beak? It's like it's exactly yeah. like a parrot beak for breaking into um uh, sh uh shellfish and stuff like that. Yeah, it's nasty. Disgusting. And then let's see. We saw the thing where the guy who looked like David Schwimmer stole the beer, right? We talked about oh, yeah, that. Oh yeah, that was that was awesome. Good. Yeah. Some somebody today was saying that he didn't. They're like, he doesn't look that much like David Schwimmer. And I'm like, fuck you. That, he does. He does. He does. That, it looked just like Ross from Friends stole somebody's 12-pack. I have this one, too. A man, eject, a man, man hospitalized for injecting his own semen. So did that guy end up coming down with something? I wonder why he was hospitalized. Did they say? Uh, was it a cyst? In the article, it said that it was... He, oh, he went into hospital because he had back pain. That's the only reason he went in. And they scanned him and everything was fine. But he left the hospital... Refusing to have the sperm uh, sucked out. So I assume he's carrying on doing it. Because he refused to have it. They, it said, we can suck it out for you. And he was like, nah, I'm keeping it in my arm. Gross. Doesn't bastard. that... Ass that, would, mm. to me, would also assume it's probably a stem cell thing. Where he thinks stem cells... Because stem cells, you know, sperm have the DNA of the host. Yeah. And they're... He, he thinks because sperm gives life, it's going to fix his back or some random shit. Oh, my God. I did like Crazy. this. Florida man threatens to kill his neighbors with kindness. Did you hear this story? This no. is a great story. So a fl this is from Huffington Post. Florida man threatens to kill neighbor with kindness. A Florida man's behind bars after he allegedly threatened to kill his neighbor with kindness. It's not what you think, though, because kindness is what the 30-year-old suspect, Brian Stewart, calls his machete. Oh, God. Is that not crazy? And he started threatening them. And so I, I don't know how they figured it out, but they... Uh, Stewart came out of the house with an arm raised, holding the machete, which had the word kindness written on it. I wonder if it was written on it with semen or blood. That would just throw the story for another loop, right? Like just, yeah. Just one level Ugh. up. They said Stewart's breath smelled of alcohol, and they, he had to be stunned with a taser. <laughs> I'm not... I'm going to go so far as to say I wouldn't have to stun him. I would. If anybody's going to write the word kindness on a machete, I'm stunning him. I, I would be a bad police officer, probably. Because I'd be... Anybody yeah. who, like had the word kindness written on a machete, would just get stunned instantly. I'd be like, okay, fuck dick it. Move. Yeah, yeah, dick move. Um, the weird thing is, though, is I swear to God, society's fallen apart even more than it ever has. You see some of this shit. Yeah, it's sad. So many weird people out there that make you just question what the fuck is even happening. So listen to this. To, t to explain why I think things are getting more and more idiotic, Firefighter fakes a blaze at his own house so he can pro propose to his girlfriend. Dude, what the fuck? fuck? Like, what the fuck? These should be just called WTF stories. Because they're, and, and these are, like, and I'm sure the stories are getting reported more. You know, we've talked about this before. Like, yeah. are things creepier than they ever were? Or are we just hearing about them more? And I think that it's a mixture of both. But the guy trying to steal the fucking bicycle from the police officer's station. Did you see that shit on caught on camera? No. He went to a police. He was actually at the police department and tried to steal a bike and they were watching him on the camera. That was awesome. Oh man. I just don't, I just don't get it. Krispy Kreme delivers pastries to officers morning loss of donut truck. <laughs> I saw that. Woman discovers drunk guy sleeping with her 150 pound Mastiff. That's a big fucking dog. Jesus Christ. Sleeping with as in you. Sexually. It, okay, just... let's go. Here we go. Let's do this. Ugh, no. Uh, this is also from Huffington Post. 150-pound Mastiff in Wisconsin woke up on New Year's Day with an unexpected bed partner. And the nurse line service said she found a man sleeping with her Mastiff Boston or Benton on a doggy or oh, whoops, it's plain, on a doggy bed on New Year's Day. So no, it does not look like he oh, was okay, having sex. He just wanted the warmth for some shit. That makes sense. Remember when Robert Downey Jr. was doing all the heroin and they caught him in the children's room? Do you remember that story? 
No. I so don't think you I do. you know that he had a big uh, yeah he had yeah a big problem. And Mel Gibson's the one who saved him um, and got him back into acting, which pisses a lot of people off because of his own issues. But mm. prior to that, he was um, arrested because a parent, a neighbor, woke up and in their child's like race car bed was Robert Downey Jr. Can you imagine waking up? Like I'd take a selfie. If I woke yeah, up and Robert Downey Jr., as long as nothing creepy was going on, I'd be like, <laughs> Robert Downey Jr. fell asleep in my fucking kid's race car bed. Um, let's see. Van Vancouver restaurant denies serving up dead rat in chowder. Oh, yeah, that's the typical thing. People saying they found, you know, rats or fingers in, in food. You've seen that before, oh, yeah. right? That's what Didn't gross, Phoebe yeah. and friends find a finger in her Pepsi? Yeah. Yeah, she did. She did, right? Yeah. That was gross. Yeah, that shit's disgusting. Because especially if you know what's in food, right? Yeah. Like, already. I mean, because you're mass processing, somebody falls into the chipper shredder to make your hot dog. You know, do they shut it down? Yes, they probably do. Hopefully. You'd what hope. else do we got? Bald Eagle. Oh, did you see the bald, bald eagle land on the dude's arm at the Cotton Bowl? That was awesome. A no. wild bald eagle wanted a place to land, and it landed on a fan in the stands. And he just put his arm up and it landed. And he is not an animal trainer or anything. He's completely That's random. cool. Yeah, that was awesome. I bet you that dude got some that night. Uh, let's see. Ex-NASA engineer admits fat, fart-laced glitter bomb video was staged. Oh, that was funny. Did you ever see that? So there's a guy right. who creates, he's an engineer, and he creates all kinds of things. And people were stealing the packages, his Amazon packages. So he made a fake Amazon package with glitter and fart spray in it. So they would take it, and then you could remote detonate it, or they would open it, and it would shoot out glitter and smell like a fart. Unfortunately, mm -hmm. he staged a bunch of the reactions. I hate that shit. I hate staging stuff. The world's crazy enough anyway. You don't need to stage it. In the yeah, world, especially when it's staged and it's made out that it's real. That's, what, that's the worst. Yeah. What do you guys in that's the just... chat, is there any crazy stories you guys remember from the news? I always love talking about these. There's always something so crazy. That, that occurs um, when it comes to like humanity and and some of the shit they do. I would, uh, there's a lot of Amazon theft here. Is there where you are? Uh, package theft? Um, uh, not really, not, you, where I, not in my particular area, but I don't know about anywhere else. But. You said your particular area one time, didn't you? Or do you not want to say what city you're in? Oh, I don't want, it's just Brighton. Brighton. England. Okay, I was right. Okay. Somebody was asking me about it a couple days ago, and I, I, that's, I, I first said Bristol. And then I was like, no, that's not right. <laughs> well, I want to know why people are asking you where I live. That's not creepy. No, it was, I, I think it was a family member <laughs> was like, oh, where he's from? Where's he from? Oh, your family member. I thought you yeah. meant mine. Yeah. No, no, no. That'd be awesome if your own dad gets on, <laughs> on fucking Discord and he's like, where are we? I'd be all, uh, <laughs> be like, take down needs a comfort bear to kill you. Um, mm -hmm. I should what, write kindness on my bear. What else do we got? You want to talk a little bit about Kingdom Hearts and the Kingdom oddity Hearts. that's going on there? Yes. Well, yeah, the review, I don't know if you, Metacritic, Open Critic, I think it's pretty similar. I'm checked open. Pretty similar. Yeah, go for it. But on Metacritic, it's 89 at the moment, which you didn't think was that high, but personally, I don't think that's too no, bad. No, I don't think it's high compared to the other AAA games. Yeah, compared to the others. But then you've got to think, is that because it's Kingdom Hearts and they don't understand the story and they mark it down? Or is that because Resident Evil 2 is just that much better? Because that's 91. I mean... That's the th that's what that's what I'm questioning. I saw Polygon's review, and they were like, you know, ends with a whimper. Um, and I didn't see other people mention that, and that's okay. That everybody can have their own idea. But I just feel like what I saw and what I've played <clears throat> looks way better than what I think those scores are, at least so far. Mm -hmm. I mean, I, so it's just yeah. I guess it is a story, but Resident Evil story is confusing as fuck, even with the added stuff in this new one. Yeah. Right. It's not that great either, Resident Evil story. It's never been great. It's yeah, been exactly. So, story. like, so if the gameplay holds up, which everybody seems to think Kingdom Hearts gameplay holds up, why the fuck are we seeing these scores? I swear to God, somebody comes off one game, right? They gave a score to one game, and then they feel this need to not score the next one as high. Yeah, that's if why that you can't give sense. numerical scores to games because it's so inconsistent between how well, you feel on the day. Yeah, I have a question for you, too, because uh, I posted this in the Discord, and I don't think it made sense to people. But a 1 to 10 score, 
Is it one to ten in the genre? Is it one to ten mm. compared to its prior title? Is it one to ten purely solitary as its own title? And then the very next day, does your ten equal what your ten equaled the day before? That's one of the reasons yeah. why it's so. I find those scores, especially ones that are one to ten, so convoluted exactly. so quickly. Uh, do, do you give Kingdom Hearts three a ten because it's so much better than Kingdom Hearts two? Right. Or do you compare it to the first game? Do you compare it to the spin-off? Do you compare it to? It's just, it's redundant. It's a ridiculous system. Not only that, you know, I do remember people when I was younger would rate like girlfriends or boyfriends on one to 10. It just does happen. Mm. Is she a 10? Is he a 10? Right? Yeah. But, but I never rated games that way. It never came up that way. I never sat with a friend and said, this is an 8.5. It would make no, never in the entire history yeah. of a discussion with a friend. Have I ever True. said a game is 8.5? I always talked about money. I said that annoys me as well. The 0.5 thing is even more ridiculous than yeah. the one to ten. What's an Jesus. eight versus an eight point five? How did you come well, up with a point five? What's it right. mean? Right. Yeah. Well, what yeah, does so it mean? Loads of them do eight point six, eight point seven, eight point eight, eight point nine. Right. And it's just. Um, I I always tell people the more you review, the more chance you have of becoming the enemy. You know, like you'll hit a review somebody doesn't like. It will happen, and they'll be like, "All yeah. your past reviews don't matter." I don't even care about that. I just think that the numerical thing itself just doesn't make any sense. It just it doesn't. It doesn't hold I, up. I want to know the value between 8.5 and 8.6. Like, what is the value of that? How did it get 0.6? Yeah, like, what's the difference between 0.6 and 0.5? That, I really want to ask these reviewers because it's so mundane. And do they work up or down? Does every game start as a 10 and then its problems and cause it, it take to go points lower? Off, yeah. Right. Or does every game start as a zero and its points continually increase as you play or does it start as an average at five and then yeah or oh yeah i never even thought about that I mean, never even never so even many came different my ways mind. to do it that's a completely legit explanation too does every game start at a five like and the yeah, thing is, is it's one of the reasons why i've done so many why videos on my uh, review scale to explain it to make sure people are you know there'll always be somebody who doesn't see it and then gets mad but numerical ones are even harder they just it just doesn't make sense and it's not even how people talk you know, a lot of people say reviews aren't worth it anymore. I don't believe that because I believe that, you know, you telling me if you liked a game is a review to me. You just didn't put it on a video. That's all it is. Mm. And I know yeah. that there's some things that you won't bring up to me because you don't care about them as much as I do. That's also totally fine. But it's still a review. When I ask you if a game's worth getting and you tell me, I consider that a review. So I think reviews are still legit. I just think the scoring needs to be cohesive and there needs to be yeah. you need to be able to read it right it's almost it would be nice if there was a link that said how we review and you clicked it and it was like we start at five and we go up and down we start at one and we go up we start at 10 and we go down any of those as long as it was explained i would be able to identify as a move forward yeah um well don't put don't put anything apart from the verdict and then you can make your mind up based on the facts given if yeah, you want to yeah. play the game or not right um, thank you for subscribing. Thank you for tweeting this out. Uh, Suger Sugerius, I'm certainly pronouncing that wrong, says, and even worse, the issue that companies have several reviewers, completely different opinions, but are using the same rating scale. I'm okay with that, strangely enough, if the rating scale is described. I'm absolutely okay. If I had somebody I really trusted who believed exactly how I did, I'd have no problem putting a second reviewer at a ACG and being like, okay, here's two. And one person likes football and one person doesn't. But context is required. I think also yeah. context of the reviewer is required. Start it out and give a little data. That's why sometimes you'll hear me say, hey, listen, I didn't, you know, I'm not a huge fan of blah, 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 but it's still worth getting, or I'm not a huge fan and I didn't like it. And people, is the, if they get context, like Takedown said, then that's <clears> enough. <throat> Game Over Man says a lot of people don't even read the review. They just skip straight to the number. That is also true. That is also true. That yeah, is, I've that, done that a few times. Yeah. I had one person, no lie, take down. He was so mad at me. He came at me personally, by the way. Found out who I was, did all the shit, because he had the audacity to listen to just the score, and he didn't listen to the context of why I gave a score. And he was just so brutally mad. He was like, you didn't, ex you, you know, there, none of this makes sense. And I'm like, did you listen? No, I just went directly to the end. I'm like, okay. Oh, it City looks like bastards. these guys are saying sometimes, oh yeah, G Game Over Man says, I've actually been guilty of this. Makes the written re review redundant, and Sagarius says guilty as charged. Same. Have you ever done that? Have yeah. you ever just looked at the score? Yeah, I've done that loads of times. But has it affected you, or does it affect you if it's just super low or super high? <laughs> Even on your videos, I have some time. If I haven't got time, I've skipped to the verdict at the Dumbass. end. Dumbass.
Well, at least, but, but never, you know I've what never I... have had a go at you for doing it, though. No, and you know what I like anyway. So if, yeah, if I, know, I say I this... I know you as a person more. Yeah, yeah, so. if I said... But here's the thing, though. When you go to Metacritic, if it's in the 80s or 70s, I feel there's more of a chance of you looking at it deeper. If it was all 40s, and if it was all don't yeah. buys, don't you think... I think that's when you start to go, okay, this probably... If it's consistent across yeah. the board, then it's, it, maybe it's going to be crap. Yeah, right. And if it's consistently high, I think it could be good yeah. depending on the genre. But I usually check out gameplay footage Me rather than read a review. Right. I like to make my own mind up. Yeah. Yeah. It's why yeah. It, it's why if you're gonna watch it, if you're gonna check out a review, you do need to see the gameplay too, because what if somebody likes cell shading and somebody else doesn't? You and I have talked about this. Some games don't do cell shading good at all. And no. So they may say, one person may say the graphics look awesome, and then you look at it and like, where the fuck did they come up with this? And you're like, well, that person likes this kind of cell shading, and I don't. That person likes hyper realistic. I don't. That person yeah. likes super saturated looking games, and I don't. It's the same with something like the Return to Obra Dinn. I don't like the graphics on it, but I can appreciate from an artistic standpoint yep. that it's fantastic. But I just don't personally like it. So do I rate it negatively because I don't like it, even though I think it's great? I mean, how, I don't know how that works. With reviewers that's a good point on that game in particular right luckily yeah, that game is fantastic looking i just don't like that style for gameplay it's like newspaper print right it, 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 it's or, or something yeah well that's the difference between art and graphics a lot of people think that art style and graphics are the same thing well they're not as well they're not at all yeah not at all art style and graphics graphics is more about raw power and then art yeah. style is about how it's been or effects to me look. graphics yeah. are like performance effects everything and then the art style is how does everything fit together as a cohesive yeah. whole? Does it? Because how many times have we played a game where, like, let's say the world looks great, but the animation on the main character looks like shit? Yeah. You know, like jumping. The Mad roads. Max. I love Mad Max, but the jump in Mad Max is that hilarious thing. Or Dead Rising. Uh, not Dead Rising. Dead Island. Where they jump and they just move. They just, like, curl a knee and they leap in the air straight. There's no, you know, push or anything. It's just straight up in the air. Yeah, interesting. Yeah. Um, Let's go with... I have a question on Twitter for us. Now, this will probably just be for me unless Takedown heard me talking about it in Discord. Jose Lewis says, is TJ Dillashaw being a sore loser or did the ref do him a favor? He was doing a split while holding on to... I can never pronounce that guy's last name, so maybe he, it wasn't that bad. You didn't watch this fight. You no. don't watch UFC. Okay. So personally, I believe it was stopped early for a championship fight. I've always believed that championship fights should go... Should go I personally believe that a lot of times, you know, these guys are risking their lives anyway. So you do want to save, you do want to be careful. But on that, when you have two champions, I do believe it's different than Hen and Burrell getting the starch knocked out of him and being, you know, just ruined versus TJ, who did look fucked up, but it could have lasted longer. I'll just say, I don't think the ref was doing him a favor. I think it could have lasted. I would have liked them to see, because TJ was fucked up at the end of one of his other uh, rounds at the end of a fight, and he came back course he had time in the in the center um i just personally think it was early by a good amount of time i also think that fighters because as somebody who's been stunned um you can come back really quick and i personally believe that if that's your if, that, if that's your line and that's your profession you should be allowed to have those moments and so i think it was quite early to be honest nikki says oh no they're talking about red dead you know what? I did a post, interesting enough, Takedown. I don't know if you feel the same. I did a post saying, what's a game that you're really excited for that you barely touched? Once you got it, you played it a little bit, and you didn't hate it. Oh, and you, you just... Yeah, I saw that, and a lot of people said what well, you're going to... Yeah, I know what you're going to say. What, do you, what am I going to say? A lot of people said Red Dead. Yeah, they did. Yeah, and a lot of people yeah. said Spider-Man. One guy said Spider-Man, but then he said he got 100%. I'm like, no, dude, that's not the same thing. I'm talking about... Count. Yeah, you I'm talking about somebody... the game. Right, I'm talking... <laughs> <laughs> yeah, and did the DLC, by the way, in that guy's yeah. post. He did admit he, he read it wrong, but it was funny to read that because I was so confused. I was like, what? Um, what do you think? What's a game that you've mm. got to take down that you don't hate right you don't hate yeah and let's say it's not, not it. you're just not feeling it and let's say it's not even a game where another game came and took over it's a game where you just got it and you're like i haven't returned to that because i would say mmos i've seen you do that with dc universe online like we had fun playing it but you don't you just don't feel it as much um yeah but i don't know about a single player game has there been one um, I want to look at my Steam library now, okay. because my Steam library is full of hundreds of them, probably. How about you guys in chat? Is there any game that you guys have been, like, sort really liked the idea of, but just never got back into? Spider-Man is... Breath of the Wild 
Now, Takedown didn't like Breath of the Wild, but I would agree Breath of the Wild mm -hmm. is a good answer mm -hmm. for me. Any Takedown? No, continue uh, on. Look for your own. I was in. A, I was like, nope, I'm not talking about Breath of the Wild. Um, where is it gone? Uh, no, I was really excited to play. Where's it gone? Bard's Tale Four. I was really excited to play that, and I enjoyed what I played. I just haven't got the urge to go back at all, and I don't know why. So Bard's Tale Four is a good example. Um, a very good example because, like you said, it's a good game. Yes, yeah, really good. But it is a. Do you think it could be because you don't see much? Like, it's just the back of your character's heads. Or the front, you know, like, not the back of your character's heads. You see the front. But what I mean is it's just a grid-based game. And the graphics are like a sword-slash look. And maybe you want something more graphically intensive? I don't know, because I'm playing B Valkyria Chronicles 4, which I've put 10 hours into just in the last two days. Because I love it. I can't mm. stop playing it. Okay. So I don't think that reminds me of a sort of similar thing as Bard's Tale 4. Where it's not a graphically intensive game. There's a lot of character interaction going on. So no, I don't think it's that. I don't know what it is. Maybe it's because it's not on my PS4. I don't tend to game on my PC outside of playing with us, like multiplayer games. Yeah, I see. I see. Okay. So some. So 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 it just may be an access <clears throat> thing for you in a way. Like you get yeah, it. Yeah, it's not as comfortable sitting yeah. here because I've got a really comfortable chair in my room. But I think I Bard's Tales on else. consoles too, if I remember right. I thought I played it on consoles. I could be going it crazy, be. but it just it doesn't mean you have it. By the way, I'm just I'm just talking. About oh no. It. Um, yeah, it's a good. I mean, there's there have been definitely a lot where I've. I've been excited for it. Fallout 76 is a good... There we go. Yeah, Vault Champlain says Fallout 76. Chaplin, sorry. Uh, Sagerius says, yeah, I put Fallout 76 down after 10 hours, and I'm fine waiting. 10 hours is a long time to play it, but on that game, I guess that still is more of a 5% yeah. rule because it's an MMO. So, yeah. Fallout 76 came up a lot. Red Dead came up a lot, and a lot of people didn't dislike it. They just said it was almost... That's the problem with hype. I personally believe the problem with hype is people buy the name... And they may like the game, but they're, if you get bought into hype on games, it doesn't take very long before there's more hype for every game. If you're just into the hype of a game, you'll be buying a game every week and never touching it because the hype and the excitement of everybody talking about it. What can we do? And then the reality yeah. may be awesome, but you're already on to your next thing. It's like a, a dope, you know? It's like always trying to go to the next high, always trying to get the next best thing. Yeah. Then there's games. Let's talk about DLC for a second. So... Let's talk about bad DLC. So I think we can agree Far Cry and Spider-Man. Yeah, Far right? Cry then Spider-Man, yeah. Far yes, for sure. Far Cry, let's make sure Far that's Cry, clear. Far Cry, Spider-Man. Yeah, Spider-Man. Spider-Man's a master it, the DLC is a masterpiece in, Spar in Spider-Man versus Far Cry, but those are the two examples oh, I have. Yeah. Um what's another game that the DLC I don't check out DLC as much as I'd like. Is there any... Yeah, same, because I never go... Like, I've never checked out any Assassin's Creed DLC, I but I really ask. want to. Yeah. Jack the Ripper, baby. I've never played any of the, any of the DLC, because I've always got the next game to play, and I just don't want to spend more time in that game. Because I'm always... I'm burnt out after 80 hours in Odyssey. I don't want to play more Odyssey. I want to play something new. Yeah, yeah. Or you don't want to... 80 hours. If you do go back, you may not want to be contained to that small space of the DLC, too. Exactly. I mean, unless the story... I'd only play DLC if the story is directly... A sequel in terms of like so you've got spider-man the story was a direct sequel right in terms of uh, the story but if it's not and it's like something like assassin's creed where it's not really a sequel you play as a different character right then i won't be as interested do you know what i have a problem with lately is that injected dlc midway through the story kind of thing where it's like here's a new load of missions because it never feels cohesive it doesn't i don't care about cut content because i think that happens a lot less than people think but yeah. it, it, like when you jump into a game, you're level 40, new DLC comes about, and it's just like playable right away. I don't mind, but it's it, it, story-wise, I have an issue with it. And in fact, I hate even more when the DLC, you have to beat the main game to play the DLC. Because if the DLC yeah. is cool, matter of fact, some games are starting to do that thing where it's like, if you want to start the DLC, we'll level up your character to that level. But the problem is, you're leveled up, but you don't have the skills. Right? Yeah, you don't know what you're doing. You don't yeah. know what the fuck you're doing. Yeah, you come in and you're like, okay, I can I can spend 800 experience points. Well, that means absolutely nothing if you have no clue how to combo a bad guy because you're going to be facing them at that level. Something came up in another um, chat and I wanted to ask you. Oh, Horizon S Sejeri says Horizon Zero Dawn's DLC was great. Yes. Yeah, Horizon Zero Dawn's DLC called Frozen Wilds. If you guys get a chance. Oh, even though Takedown didn't finish it. I did. Wait, what? I, for I forced my way through it because I got really bored of playing it. Who was I talking to then? Okay, I apologize. It wasn't you then. All right. But 
you didn't dislike it. You just it was too I much. I didn't dislike it. I just it felt like much. I played it straight after the main game, and it was no, it wasn't straight after the main game, though, was it? It came out like two months later. I think. Just didn't change things up enough for you. It just the story what I didn't find interesting, and it was too much of the same thing. I was in a new game at that point as well. I was gotcha. on the next thing. So thank yeah. you for the bits. Thanks for subscribing. I appreciate it. Um, so what about this? Easy, medium, or hard? What do you play your games on? Medium, first of all. Right. And if it's too hard, I'll put it on easy. Okay. I've got no shame in playing something on easy as long as I get to experience the game. Do you think you should? I think that's the dumbest thing in the world. If that that people no. think you should feel shame for playing on it's your fucking. No. It's my game. They're not even involved. If I didn't tell them, they wouldn't even know. Right, and you would still experience the same core game yeah play i mean if it's a heavy experience. story game and it's really hard i'd rather play it easy and enjoy the story yeah but if it's a gameplay focused game i'll turn it up yeah i find it i test on all difficulties because i i think that you know you want to find out if there's a balance issue but mm. man if i mean if a game's super easy i want a little bit of challenge i do like challenge i do not like god mode in fact i found that most games i have a code for when i get like what i mean is a god code like yeah. if you find a god code later and you go back to the game my the challenge goes away and i never want to play it again um yeah, i don't want to be overpowered but i also depending on the game being easy is nice thank you for becoming a member of team awesome snake eyes you rock a uh, game over man says wolfenstein 2 was crazy hard i thought i had to lower the difficulty it punishes you for running and gunning wolfenstein 2 i found incredibly hard i had to put that on easy straight away i died in that first level a thousand times I know really what you're talking about it. that I, was uh, fucking so you would agree hard. what De oh, do you remember what was hard? It like give me a description you didn't take uh enemies took a lot of hits you took no damage before you died like you had, you'd be shot twice and you'd be dead it, you took literally like two shots and you were dead it was so difficult and the enemies were really good mm. they were much better at flanking covering i just found that to be one of the hardest games i've ever played in that sort of genre so i had to put that on easy and it still wasn't that easy. Because do you feel it set you up? Because it's Wolfenstein to <clears throat> it set you up to think running and gunning would be fine. Because it's Wolfenstein. Yeah, running and gunning. It's Wolfenstein. Yeah, like in Doom. Like Doom, right. I don't find it's not Arma difficult. three, right? It's it's like no. It, yeah, right. Okay, I see what you're saying. I see what you're saying. But yeah, I agree with Game Over Man. There, that was hard. Nav is asking about AI. Do you guys think AI will get improved with the next gen systems? No. Uh, AI is direct. I don't, I don't know. Yeah, AI is directly connected to CPU power. It'll get as powerful. It, so console CPUs won't even equal mid-range CPUs on current systems on PC anyway. And CPU is uh, is is or AI is CPU bound. So there's no. It won't. It won't change anything. It'll it'll be equal to what we already see on PC because PCs are much more powerful CPUs, and they always will be. But do, do many games on PC have that AI? That's much better. Arma? They don't, do they? No. There's a couple, and, like, if you want to see amazing videos, go check out GDC Vault, by the way, anybody who's watching. What's up, Johnny? Anybody who's watching, check out GDC Vault. They always cover this. They have huge videos done by developers at GDC, and you can go and get them for free. Go look at Halo and how Halo handled AI. And there's fake AI, like Fear, uh, No One Lives Forever, where there's a lot of scripting involved, where it's like, if then, there's not really a flexible AI. Halos is more flexible, but you can't be too hard. The computer knows where you are all the time. Like yeah. what the, I mean, it, like you, in fact, you have to make it dumber. Um, I think what's going to happen is people are going to figure out how to fake AI better, you know, and that'll probably be your main thing. But yeah, unfortunately the CPUs, n nobody should expect the CPUs to even equal like a 970 i7 or something like or 920 i7 like their their C cpus are mobile jaguars in these current ones and i don't think they're going to be much better i mean they'll be better but i don't think they'll be like anything dramatic what would you want to see ai really do how about that in chat nav what do you want to see what what is better to you i would like to know to me better is is actually not the ai it's scripting we've talked about this takedown we've talked about this fucking for no end but like when an enemy you kill an enemy and their best friend doesn't know they're gone Right. Mm. And they're still standing there going, Joe Bob must have just taken a piss, you know, or you set yeah. off a level three alarm by sniping the main bad guy and everybody goes back into un unalarmed status in seven seconds. I think that's I think Arma, the reason yeah. why you and I had such difficulties, because Arma doesn't do that. If they are set, if they see that you're there, they're that they are after you. Yeah, they'll, 
on your ass. Tenacious. tenacious. Is there any games yeah. that you remember really being impressed or hating the AI? Either one? Um, I don't know, but as you said, I don't think it's anything about the power. I think, or the power in the CPU. I think it's to do with the scripting and the coding. I think people need to get better at doing that. Mm hmm. Because I think they could probably make better AI based on the hardware they've got now. They just need better coding and scripting, I think. Or, or more better. realistic. Yeah, Even just not... a better way of making it happen mm, in terms the of the technical stuff. Yeah. But any games, I think it was good. Uh, I don't know. Alien, I thought Isolation did a good job, but they, that yeah. was double AI. It was one AI that knew where you were and one AI that lied to the alien. I thought that worked pretty well. And then it didn't also work well. Abzi had, Abzi had the alien all the time. All the time. Yeah. And other people I know have barely seen the alien in that movie or that game. So that's another problem that can crop up, right? Yeah, because I half half of the game I barely saw him, the other half he was always there, so I had a bit of both. It was Oh, okay. Even more tense. Because I was used to him not being there ever. Then all of a sudden he was there all the time. So it was just so tense. Uh Game Over Man says not getting lost on the way to a mission objective like an Odyssey. NPCs went the wrong way. Oh, okay. You mean like the helper like like the murder uh, mission and stuff like that. I can see that. What happened with me in Odyssey was they would tell me the wrong directions all the time. I don't know if that mm. was a translation, but they'd be like, go east. And you'd go east, and then you'd find out it was west. And you were like, the fuck? It, it, like, it, it's almost like the map flip. They had a polar switch or something. Um, what about DMC, those kind of games? Do you play those? Ninja Gaiden, DMC, Devil May Cry. Yeah. Devil May Cry. Do you like their AI in those, where it's more of a just a an enemy who has fast dodges. It's not really, I mean, yeah, it's, I, just, an, yeah, it's an more, enemy takes a punch. And... Yeah. Yeah. It's more just like the speed at which they do things. That's the AI. Yeah. Are you okay with yeah, that? Like in, God of, like in the old God of Wars where they're literally just there to be attacked. Right. And do a bit of dodging here and there. Yeah. It's not the most intelligent, but I think it fits the genre. Yeah. Yeah. DMC. Yeah, are you excited it... for the new one? Uh, I played the demo and I thought it looked really good okay. and played really well. It was really good. I, I, I interrupted really, you. You were going to continue well. about DMC. Sorry about that. We're saying it was set in London as well, so it's more exciting. Mm. But you were saying Looking something about God of War's uh, AI and stuff. I interrupted you. Did you have something to add? Can't remember now. Oh, I apologize. I interrupted. Oh. You were saying they were there just to dodge and attack and do a little bit. Oh, of yeah, damage. They, that's what no, I finished. Yeah, that's that's all I was saying. Yeah. Yeah, I think it does depend on the AI, right? Yeah, Spe it depends on the uh, like game. Alien. That AI is just it's just that one AI. So I think that the more complex it appears, the better. But then the dumb AI that's done in a God of War with with low level enemies you're supposed to mow through who only become really dangerous when good grouping happens, mid guy yeah. and high guy. Or you get a boss from God of War or something where their scripting is so generic and so by the numbers. Yeah, it's the same thing every time. Do this attack, do this attack, do this attack, dodge this. It's very scripted. Have you ever gone into a game? Because I do this, uh, and I admit, like. I feel stupid doing it, but I've done it multiple times. Have you ever gone into a game and thought a boss was going to be harder because you thought they would do more? And then they just yeah. do? Yes. I, I do, dude, it happens to me all the time. I don't know. I don't well, know They why. only have two attacks. You think they're going to have like 10 and they're just two attacks. You learn it in two seconds and you just beat it. Yeah, right, right. Yeah. Like that's, uh, I mean, uh, I'll give an example. Uh, Yakuza, uh, um, uh, Kiwami 2, the one I reviewed. There's a boss yeah. at the starting, and I died multiple times thinking he was going to do other things. I was quite literally confused by my own desire to believe that this guy was going to pull off 85 moves, and he kept pulling the same three off, and I just got yeah. confused. Uh, uh, Holt, thank you for subscribing. Very much appreciated, sir. Thanks to everybody new who subscribed. There's a couple new subscribers. Um, did you like the Kiwami, the, the Yakuza style games and overall? Um, I played the first one on PS2 about 20... Uh, not 20... Uh, 15, 10 years ago. But I've just bought Zero and Kiwami 1 last week, so I'm going to start playing those soon, hopefully. Dude, I, I, I want to... Because I was sending you... I was so excited when I was playing too. I was sending you those videos and stuff. Like, man, impressive. I think, yeah. you'll, I think you'll like them. A lot I'll of... that one as well. I think you'll get into them, dude, because they got the mini games, the karaoke. I could see you yeah. just sort of diving in. and It's because they're, they're, they're doing 3, 4, and 5 this mm, year, yeah. apparently. Kiwami, not Kiwami style, but... Apparently they're doing HD versions, remasters. So I'll, get, I'll buy those as well, and I'll have all of them, and six, maybe. Are you I'm, as depressed uh, as I am that Shenmue 1 and 2's remasters were in the shape they were in? Or are you okay? I haven't played them. I haven't played them yet. So I don't actually know. From what I've seen, they don't look great. Shenmue 3 also doesn't look great. I, I agree. It looks, looks so... Looks The faces are like the same. 
from one and two just with a HD update. I think it's Yakuza weird. replaced Shenmue. To be brutally honest, yeah. I think Yaku Shenmue is Yakuza's sort of. That's sort of where Sh y Yakuza came from, and Yakuza has stepped it up with the mini games. Because remember, in Shenmue, the big thing was, oh, I can raise a cat. I can buy some yeah. of those machine things for twenty five cents, where you collect the, oh, I love the plinkos. That. That's so good, right? You can play some arcade games. You can drive a forklift around in number two. You can do a couple real world things. But Yakuza does all of that and has a more fluid fighting system and looks better. Yeah. So my dog, I don't know what he ate. He is, oh my God, he stinks. Jesus. I just keep going like trying to get away. It's, I'm not trying to get away from you. I'm trying to get away from the stank. Um, so why do you think you haven't jumped on Yakuza? Because you were really excited for the Shenmue remasters. I heard you talking about it all the time. Uh, the, why haven't I jumped onto Yakuza? Because yeah. they're too big. I'm waiting until I have a bit more of uh, a few more games finished. I've got a pile of 18 PS4 games I need to get through. You're playing games a lot, which is, I mean, you definitely try to get through them, though. That's one thing. Yeah, I've completed two in the last two weeks, I think. Oh, okay. Damn. Yeah, I'm going to get through Valkyria Chronicles 4, because they're all like 40-hour stories, these games. So I've just, just bought Nino Kuni 2 as well, which I shouldn't have bought. It's another big game. And you bought... um. And beat Resident Red, Evil. Res, uh, you beat Red Dead. I beat Red Dead. I beat Odyssey. I've got Resident Evil coming. Got Kingdom Hearts coming. And from tomorrow for the yeah for the demo. What's demo, up, sleeve? Um, yeah, it, it, I mean, it's always I, I don't know. It's always weird to see a game come forward. It's almost like when a when like a TV show comes forward and does so much better than the one prior to it. That's like in the same universe, like Jessica Jones, Daredevil. For me, I thought Jessica Jones yeah. was way better than Daredevil. Um, yeah. it, it feels like Shenmue was the was the blueprint and yakuza just nailed it i am really surprised you aren't completely up on yakuza to be honest because i they're they speak i know when you play them you'll be like oh shit like i mean i'm surprised you haven't put those higher on your list to play before valkyria what got you into that it's valkyria chronicles yeah. um i've always wanted to i always liked uh what was the game on gba called oh gb like oh, the, uh, advance wars Advance Wars, oh, this reminds yeah. me of that a lot. Yeah. And right. I wanted a game like that, and it looked different. Apparently, it's got a good story. Advance Wars Raging was Silver. sweet. Advance Wars was amazing. Yeah. I played that at school all the time. I love that shit. Any yeah. of those but, where they show the two forces and they do the fucking... I don't know why. I love that kind of, like, turn-based battle. Like Fire Emblem, the guy on the horse, yeah. you know, the fucking centaur smashing into the dude. And Wait, So why haven't you played Valkyria Chronicles, then, if that's your sort Because of thing? it's not my thing graphically, to be honest. Uh, okay. Yeah, I saw it, I I saw it graphically, and it Silver liked it, talked it up all the time. Um, oh, God, I yeah, think, like does. you said, I think I think Reg talked it up all the time. I could be wrong. Reg was talking it up, but I found out yesterday that Reg only got to. I, he said, "Oh, I got to this level and I got stuck," and I, I was like, "Oh, he must have got quite far before he got stuck." He played for four hours and got stuck. <laughs> and it's, just, it's a four-hour game, so I was like, oh, "I'm not going to take Reg's." Okay, yeah, so Silver beat it. He talked it up a bunch. <laughs> yeah. um, I like the gameplay, but graphics, it's, you know, we talked about this. Borderlands, cell shading didn't work for me, where it worked for everybody no, else. No, I'm saying, I hated that in Borderlands. Yeah, um, do you remember when Borderlands wasn't going to be cell shaded Do you remember back in the day when that was first announced, It w there was no cell shading I don't know if you even knew that. But when Borderlands was that, first no. allowed, yeah, when it's for, you can still find old pictures of what it looked like prior to the cell shading So, yeah. I would have. I would have played that. Pretty insane. Um, what else do we got? You gonna you watching any shows? Uh, TV shows. Suits is back. I'll be watching that. Wait, Suits is still going? Oh yeah, it's on how season eight. How many episodes of season eight? Okay. Yeah, se se uh, season or se yeah season you'd say when you sit season eight yeah. So I'm watching Travelers, which the guys mm -hmm. in Discord suggested, and I thought was going to be dumb, and it turned out to be awesome i can't but like it's one of those shows where i'm like i'll give it a chance because you know people are talking i always try to give something a chance and holy shit yeah. that show is fucking good johnny says travelers is fantastic yeah it like that blew me away how good travelers was like that's caught me that's got me like actually genuinely excited to sit down and watch i've also enjoyed the fuck out of ballers i love that show yeah. fucking the rock and the ball runkle looking dude from californication i don't remember the actor's name but ballers is funny as Fuck. Ballers is just a great look behind the NFL, like uh, of people in the NFL. And The Rock acts very well in that. I think he's a very good actor. Yeah, he's good. I think he does a really good job. Do you know the bald guy that I'm talking about? His partner? 
Well, uh, uh, Rob, Rob Cordoy, is Rob it? Cordoy. Rob? Yeah, thank you. Uh, have you seen California, Calif California, Californication? Sorry. I have not, but my dad always goes on about it. It is he loves it. so fucking good. And it's the same style. The outrageous main guy with the goofy, strangely enough, bald, you know, best friend who sticks with him regardless of what shit occurs. Because yeah. The Rock is a jackass in Baldur's. I don't think people realize he's a, he is make he is sort of a megalomaniac in that. And you don't pick up on it right away. You pick up, oh, he's got a halt, heart to gold. And then once you watch it, um, Holt says Altered Carbon was good. I liked it far more than a lot of people, I think, liked Altered Carbon. Yeah, I really enjoyed it. And the books are unbelievable. Easily top five books I've ever read. When it, Them and David Gamel, the Waylander series and stuff. Do you read books anymore? I haven't read a book in ages. Too many video games for that shit. Not even it's to relax? Full nerd. Nah, video games to relax. Video games for everything. I have found not... that books work for me so much better to relax than video games. I love really? just sitting. To, yeah, man, I've really enjoyed sitting back down and watching. Nice pajamas takedown, Johnny says. <laughs> Same pajamas every week. Yeah, they are. Yeah, you're oh. always you're always pajama bound. Wait, I'll put my dressing gown on. Your dressing gown? What the fuck are you talking about? Mm. You know. Your shawl, your cloak. Yeah, what do you call it then? A bathrobe. Oh, okay. Because most people I... don't wear them unless they come out of the shower. Then you put them on. Oh. This is called a dressing gown. To us, a dressing gown is an evening gown. You go out dressed up in a dressing gown. Oh. That's, oh I never thought of that. Yeah, it's weird. Dressing Man, his chair looks way more comfortable than mine. Did anybody else notice it's that? Not, Dude, that, cha that chair looks like so comfy compared to mine. Well, that is just... Mine's, mine's one of the gamer chairs, the shit-ass gamer chair. I'm telling everybody, if anybody's trying to tell you a gamer chair is more comfortable than a normal chair, fuck, just shut the fuck up. Nah, like, they're lying. Not. They're not. Wow. You look all wrapped up. You look like a fucking patient of some horrible terminal <laughs> disease. Show up, have a thermometer in your mouth, and be like, meh. What about this? There we go. There we go. Take down, chilling it out. Just being like, what's up? Netflix and chill. Thanks. Nintendo Switch. Oh, Netflix is on here as well. Shit. Did they oh, add Netflix to, to the Switch? Oh, no, YouTube, not Netflix. They added oh, well, YouTube. It is fully added. Yeah, I, uh, about two months ago, yeah. Oh, mine hasn't updated for that. Or I haven't seen. Do you have to download it from their store, or is it automatically on the Switch? Uh, you download it on the. It's on the store. Yeah. Okay, gotcha. So I the, Wii U, the Wii U did it automatically, but this doesn't. Oh, okay. I gotcha. So, yeah, I'll check it out. Have you been watching any YouTube on it? Does it work well? I haven't had my Switch turned on in about a month. It's got no battery at all. Dude, you should turn on for Travis. Travis Strikes Again, No More Heroes. Oh shit, it has got battery. What the fuck? Amazing game. No, you should check it, it out. You should check it out, dude. No, thank you. I know what you're doing right now. That's the sort of game Rage would buy and never play because it's bad. <laughs> or four hours of it. Citizen Sleeve says, Take down Carrick Star as the protagonist in the new Toe Jam and Earl. I wish. New Toe Jam and Earl game, though. That looks good. Yeah. Dude, Toe Jam and Earl is the shit. People don't realize that everybody wants to talk about, like, fucking... I know you liked it, but, like, Spyro or Crash, but to me, take to Toe Jam and Earl, ace those by a large margin. I really like those games. Thank you very much. Read the Recatch 22, I guess. Followed. Thank you very much. Appreciate it. Thanks for everybody who subscribes and follows. Um... What what about you, Toe Jam and Earl? Were you a Sega Genesis fan? Is that how you got it? I've never. No, I don't even know anything about it. I, I don't. I didn't even know it was a. Oh, thing. you just like the graphics when you saw it. I look. just looked at it and reminded me of Pool Panic. So I was like, yeah. Yeah. Oh, Pool Panic. Nah, nah, I can see, I can nah. see where Pool Panic got their inspiration from now, though. I think did 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 you watch the video where I was explaining? They they explained how they got the nah nah nah. They got how they oh. got all that. Wait, in the podcast, you mean? Yeah. Did you I was watch? In it. I, I couldn't remember if you were. You were in the <laughs> shitty audio podcast. Oh yeah. Oh yeah, because you liked it, and we tried his to get neighbor. It. I kept going yeah. on neighbor. That was like sports fans. He was at a hostel. Remember, oh, they were watching they soccer, just shouting and screaming. He had his little laptop with a little. Can Don't worry, Carrick. I have good audio. What a liar, man! Thank you very much. We've got eighty people. If you get a chance, tweet it out that we're doing this. It's always oh, a blast. Eighty people who can subscribe to me. Jeez. Eighty people who can subscribe to the bathrobed wonder known as Takedown. Make sure to subscribe. I'm, I'm, He'll stream once a week, maybe. <laughs> <laughs> I stream. I streamed every day for like 
a whole week and died. Dude, it's tough, right? People don't realize it. It's actually, it, it's not, you know, tough in the physical way. It's tough mentally. Yeah, like mentally. You can... But if you really want to watch the probably the best Twitch streamer, follow this link here and, and follow me on Twitch. Yeah, sure. What's up, Mr. Potato playing, Head? Thank you for subscribing. I'm playing Bioshock Infinite. No one else is. Yeah, but here's the thing. You stopped. I waited <laughs> for you to start again. You fucking stopped. You? You got, yes, because you played them all in a row. So I was like, okay, I can just sit back and watch this fucking dude, this absolutely <laughs> uh, not amazing player, plays it on easy, bashes through people like a fucking, like a train wreck, and he gets in there. He plays it one time, I think, I watched you. Stream it one time and then mm. never streamed it again. So you no, got I streamed that one three times. I'm near the end. Oh, okay. I only saw the first one or two then. I didn't see it. IGN that gave me a 9 out of 10 for streaming. Did they? But no one knows what a 9 yeah. out of 10 means. 9.2 out of exactly. 10. Exactly. I'm um, 1.5. So let's see. Gamerman says, is that 24-hour No Man's Sky stream still available? I would assume so on YouTube, unless I took it down for some strange reason. Because you know what? I'm... I don't think I did, but if you can't find it, the only reason I would say it would be taken down is because No Man's Sky Next is out, and so there's no reason to leave up the old version of No Man's Sky. Could not, I could mm. be wrong. Um, Mr. Potato said, hey man, it's Drifter from Discord. Just joined back to, today, too. Thank you very much, man. I'm glad you're back. We've had, we take down, no, it was Abzi and I, I think, talking about this uh, on a private chat. We were, we were laughing how many long-term folks we have. And... I was contacting everybody. I contacted Donovan and a couple others. And I'm like, hey, you guys want to come on podcast? And they're like, no, I'm just happy to support you. I just, I read your guys' Discord. I'm just like, okay. <laughs> they just, they're just very happy to be there. Not necessarily always joining in. It's always so, it's always so weird. I always try to get them to join in, but I think they're just afraid to take down going off on them. You've been known as a jackass. On, I know that people are scared of you on Discord. Probably. You're mean. I'm intimidated. Look at, look at me in my dressing gown. Yeah. You're an intimidating... No matter what you're dressed in, you're an intimidating force to be reckoned with. At That's your, why you have to follow me on Twitch. At your five foot nine. Uh, six foot two. How dare you? I know. You? I always tease you, though, because you look five nine to me. If I saw you, I would not recognize you, by the way, because you'd be too tall. I'd just be like, That's definitely not takedown. <laughs> I'm not lying. I think you always look fucking four foot seven to me. It's getting shorter. Pretty soon, you're going to be Danny DeVito size. But I do. I, I always... wish. I'd like to be his size. Just walking under women's skirts and being like... La, 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 Did you ever la, la. see Danny DeVito drunk on that morning show? That was so embarrassing. Because no. he, he, that. he That's when he split up. He got back with his right, wife, Rhea Perlman. But they split up for a little while because he was having drinking issues. And he shows up on a podcast... Or on a morning show. Dude. It's... It's ridiculous, man. I mean, it's one of those things. Mm -hmm. I always get embarrassed for people who show up to shows. Uh, did you guys... Did you ever see the one where Chuck Liddell... You know who Chuck Liddell is, the UFC fighter? Yeah. He showed up on one and fell asleep while they were asking him questions. Just really? fucking completely nodded off. Yeah. <laughs> Citizen wow. Sleeve says he does look tiny. I'm 6'5". We need to stand next to each other sometime. I don't know what that means. If you want to hit on him on a private chat, that's fine. Game Over yeah. Man says three months doesn't feel like that long because everything we do makes time just completely pass. Exactly. So, yeah. You just, you, you'll be here and you'll be like, whoa, what the hell? I've been here for just, nine months. I've wasted my life for nine full months. I'm checking my Twitch now. Oh, shit. Let's see. Got some more questions. Oh, hey, check Discord, by the way. I asked if there were questions, and I forgot oh. to look back. Okay. There's a question. I'll go back to the top. Uh, There's a question for Takedown. Have you and Mr. Manny ever considered doing the type of streamer video where play Dragon Ball? Yeah, many times. We have. It just doesn't. I need to talk to him about it. Yeah. Yeah. We Actually, the original idea was to put all of us together so that we can join up, and you guys can teach me the game. Again, I totally forgot about that. Totally forgot about that idea. Well, it's Mr. hard. He's a busy dude. Though. Yeah, he's a busy dude. Yeah. We're all busy. Very. I mean, it's like it's like getting even getting a, a subscriber or a patron to the podcast was difficult. I put out the fucking alert for a patron podcast yesterday. Zero responses. So I'm like, okay, really? yeah. So I'm like, okay, nobody wants to come in. I go away. I come back. It's way after the podcast, and I get like 30 people saying I'd love to come, and I'm like, what? That was <laughs> what? That was four hours ago. Um, Mr. Potato said, Carrick, do you have plans to review Kingdom Hearts 3? I do. Um, I did get my code later than others, um, but I also got it in a not code-like version. I did get another version of it. It's just if I can get through it before anything comes up. I think I think overall what I've seen looks pretty fair. Um, maybe a little low, but again, I haven't beat it. I haven't got through it enough to say that those scores are low. I, I Takedown and I were talking about this outside of chat and then at the start of the podcast. I feel that the scores 
are a little weird. There's a some that are a little lower than I would have expected when you compare it to like, let's say why Resident Evil got such good scores. Um, and I like Resident Evil a lot. And you got Resident Evil. You're going to play that tomorrow. Or no, you're playing uh, Anthem. You oh. want to play with us? You want to stream oh, it? You put oh, no. Wait a minute. Let's do it. Okay. No, because I haven't used my VIP code yet to for which console, so I can put it on PC. I have PC. Actually. Yeah, I have PC. Okay. I mean, I, I'm probably going to get the console game. versions anyway, but who knows? No, if, if I want to stream it, though, it's easy just to put it on PC. Yeah, just get it on PC and we'll stream it because I'm, I'm, I'm going to do some gameplay tomorrow. I have no clue because I haven't played it. So this will be the first time. So I'll be really bad. And I'm sure people will be like, he can't be trusted. He's playing this brand new game. It doesn't, it isn't amazing. Might be um, though. It might be really good. Oddball says, I just heard about the Resident Evil 2 IGN thing reviewing half the game. Technically, I'm going to have to argue with people and say, I do not believe that they reviewed half the game. I do believe that what they thought was that it was going to be a repeat. They should have made that clear in the context or said, I didn't get through all the stories, all the side stories. It was a very confusing embargo. And you guys know if I'm making excuses for anybody, it must mean something. So be aware of that. It was a very confusing embargo. It was confusing in what you could talk about and what the naming for things are, because there's modes, storylines, survivor storylines, and what you could and couldn't talk about. Um, that person at IGN who did that review is very trustworthy. I think that they've been around a long time, and if you go and look at their stuff, they're very open about what, what's gone on. What they, you know, context, they should have delivered context. I'm not saying that there wasn't a really, that they didn't do some dumb stuff, for sure. But it's less of an issue than I think people, I, it's less of an issue, it would be far less of an issue if they had said in the, you know, review hey i didn't play them all and they didn't they should have done that for sure um somebody says i've got a copy here with me too tired to play mr potato i don't know which game you mean i think he means resident maybe resident evil are you do are you doing the origins today. thing right now yes okay you know, thank you, you know very too much well. um uh, game over man says i hate when the game goes live in the afternoon let me play tonight god damn it well but your afternoon is somebody else's good morning bro that's true 24 hour time scale unfortunately or for you we we live on a round earth do the New Zealand thing that everyone loves to do. Yeah, no shit, right? Oh, Resident Evil 2 <laughs> is what Mr. Potato has. Gotcha. Oh, okay. And I do want to make sure that people understand that I'm not in any way making excuses. I'm explaining that w the way things were worded could have been fixed for sure. It could have been... there. It, it definitely needed fixing, but that kind of situation isn't as bad. And Evan says, I suppose they don't have a system of verifying if the reviewer is beating the game. No, but I mean, you you guys, when it comes to reviews, is it 100% a person needs? Because if you need everybody to get a platinum trophy, sorry, you're going to see no reviews. It, it Just the idea of getting a platinum, you know what I mean? It takes a while to yeah, do those kind imagine. of things. Yeah, can you imagine platinum Can you trophy imagine that? Or what if a game, for example, they didn't say how many stories there were in the embargo. So if somebody thinks they're done, they think they're done. And um, yeah. that's not what happened here. I'm saying that can happen in other games, though. Let's see. Game Over Man says, it's weird why I can play at midnight on consoles but not on Steam. Yeah, for sure. Um, Cat Sleeve says, which Resident Evil is better, 7 or 2 Remake? Oh. Dude, I love 7. I have a soft spot, spot in my heart for 7. I, the VR, just the, the more American-style story, I, I like 7 better. Resident Evil 2 Remake is amazing, though. Um, Mr. Potato Head, did Resident Evil 2 as a whole feel too short, too long? Just right, just right. I think that Resident Evil 2, so it's got your main stories, then it's got your secondary stories that start for the characters in different places, then it's got some other stuff. Um, the thing about Resident Evil is it is a grind for a lot of people, too. I don't think people understand that for a lot of, a lot of folks, they don't want to replay any of the same locations. They just don't. Yeah. And I, I think that's completely valid as well. For somebody who's like, hey, how is it? How how long does it take for just the two main stories? You know, you just have to understand what type of player it is. Some of these people are new, and they've never played these games. I had somebody who was like, how dare you do a review? Of course it's a buy. And I'm like, dude, ten years ago is when it was released. Fuck off. People were not even playing games who are playing games right now. Ten years ago, they were fucking ten. Like they weren't playing Resident Evil. Most likely, their parents weren't letting them. Mr. Potato Head says that ki tyrant character looks terrifying. Yes. Oh god. Did you see him in my video, or did you skip to the end? 
Or did you even look well, at I haven't, the, seen, I haven't watched your video yet. Dude, I showed the tyrant because he's that's not really a secret. He looks like, no lie, he looks like your grandpa put a fedora on and rolled in some blueberry juice. But <laughs> he is scary as fuck. The music changes and he just thunders. He's just like, boom, 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 boom. And, sh and walks behind you. And if he gets close, he does a lot of damage. But you can still yeah. dodge it. So. Can't wait to play it though. I'm playing yeah. number one and zero as well to, tonight with my brother or tomorrow even. Your brother? I haven't heard that in a while. You guys are sitting down to just, is are you just trading off a controller kind of thing? Yeah, we're just trading it off because we both can't remember where the fuck we're meant to go and it's fun playing them together. Okay, cool. I, I haven't heard you talk about playing games with him very often. Do you guys do that? Not video games, no. The only video game we've ever really played together is probably uh, Destiny. Oh, you mean side by, like co-op with each no, other? No, no. Online, like, cause oh, gotcha. from from the other room. Uh, Game Over Man asks Takedown, how are you finding the controls of Resident Evil One Remake? Uh, I'm using the modern controls because I know when it came out on the GameCube, I was using the same controls. It didn't have any updated controls, so I didn't play it then. But the PS4 version is the first version that came with modern controls, where you can okay. spin around, and, and that's the version I like. Okay, because I hate the tank controls. I can't be doing with that shit. Gotcha. Tank Resident Evil One and Zero have really good controls with the new stuff. Yeah, I thought the I think I think the modern controls make it feel ten times better. Yeah, ten times. So better. if you've always been put off, the PS4 version has the best, or the Xbox One version, I assume as well. Yeah. Um, do you think you're gonna like the three third person viewpoint that you get in this new Resident Evil remake for two? Well, it, it's similar to uh, Resident Evil Four, isn't it? Mm -hmm. That's my favorite Resident Evil game, so I think I'll love it. I want them to redo all the Resident Evil games with that view, including 1 and 3 and Code Veronica. Code Veronica. And not zero. Code Veronica is the shit. I never got to play it because it was too... Dude, and it was Dreamcast because I don't think you had a Dreamcast, right? Oh yeah, I had a Dreamcast. I had Dreamcast with okay. like a, a thousand games on. I had a read of discs like that and they were all just copied Could, games. They were pirated with the Calypso disc. Oh yeah, every um, single game. They were so easy to pirate that shit, Jesus. Easiest this... console to pirate ever. Mr. Potato Head says, agree, take down Resident Evil is my top ten of all time is in my top ten of all time. Also says, does Kingdom Hearts 3 have any 4K capability on consoles? I don't know. I haven't counted res yet, but it looks good. So most likely it's a higher res. Um, but I haven't I usually count res at the very end because I have that way I have the entire game that I can go back and look at saves. Because if you do it just at the starting, you have no clue if a later level will have some bombastic boss fight. And I think that's one of the things that you'll get. One of the problems with counting frames on F, uh, on consoles, too, is that you have to use software to do it. And the software isn't perfect. Additionally, consoles, PCs have streaming assets. And if you hit a big asset, suddenly you'll get a bump in FPS. And you'll hear one person say, I got 60 all the way through. The other person will say, I didn't. And it doesn't mean they were wrong. It means this person's hard drive just, you know, like it, it just may have hit a little glitch right there. And they got a drop and they mention it. Um, was Mr. X just as terrifying in the Res 2 remake as he was in the original? I barely remember the original. I'll just say that. I found him awesome in this. I loved the sound effects. I loved everything about the way he controlled. Um, in fact, let's talk about reviews for a second, because there were people who were asking me questions about, like, is there any secret to reviewing? Um, they want to get into reviews. I would say the secret is starting. Don't ask me. Go do it. Because mm. if you don't, I mean, that's that's how you that's that's what I usually tell people when they say they want if they want to start a channel when takedown is like want to start streaming. I'm like, just fucking stream. In fact, we'll get in arguments because he'll be like, I'm thinking about this. And I'll be like, would you just fucking do it <laughs> like um, and there's nothing wrong with worrying. But I, I really do believe that your best bet if you if, if there's no real secret, it's just do it. Just fucking go out there. Citizen Sleeve says, I love Code Veronica. I remember how hyped my bro and I were before it came out on the Dreamcast. Blew our minds when we played it. We always played Resi games level by level and life by life. Mr. Potato Head says, well, this is such an awesome start to the year, only January. Yeah. Right? Yeah. Like, it Amazing is pretty crazy. Gaming. It is. It is. And the thing is, guys, I can't wait till you guys all get hands-on on Crackdown because rumor is, is that game is actually good. And that will throw the world into turmoil like no one's, no one will believe. If that game turns out to be good, uh, there's going to be so many people who are beside themselves because they're, you know, they're under the impression that long-term development and, you know, this many problems means you can never get a good game. And I think Last Guardian probably, for some people, already proved that wrong. But I can't wait to see just the internet explode. Excited to hear Terry Crews' voice constantly. Same. Really? 
You're a Terry Crews oh, fan? Oh, yeah. Oh, I'm a huge Terry Crews fan. Did you see Love. his post recently? So he got, I guess, some guy grabbed his ass or something. You hear about that? Oh, no, I didn't hear about that. Yeah, so, uh, yeah, there was some weird thing there. I don't know much of the story, but I guess some guy grabbed his butt, and um, ter Terry got him fired. He got fired. He got, like, sort of ostracized and stuff, and Terry was sort of celebrating that. And I was like, I don't, I, I didn't read enough about it. Somebody else should know. But I've always found it a little bit weird that we want to just, um, I saw something else where there was somebody who had released a video, and they found out he was friends with somebody else. And they were like, how dare anybody be friends with this other bad person? I'm like, dude, I, I know, mm -hmm. I have, I'm friends with some people who aren't great, but I'm still, I mean, I'm, I wouldn't say I would trust them with certain things, but it, I don't know if ostr if ostracizing teaches somebody whatever you're trying to teach them, right? Does it? Yeah. I mean, does does like no. ruining them tr teach them anything? I mean, no, it may gonna be more of a dick and want to get revenge. Yeah, I guess I sort of I worry about that. Reviewing games feels intimidating because of all the potential mistakes, especially getting facts wrong. Then just state what you know. That's what I always tell people. State only what you know. Don't do any sub uh, you know. Uh, like subjective stuff like if you if you can't prove it then probably don't put it in there mr potato head says doing your review of a game and then seeing carrick's version not good for self-esteem fuck that dude there you're good there's indio indio does the abbreviated reviews and i don't know if he did them prior to me but indios i would say those are some of the best reviews i've seen for a game they're two minutes long it was it's i it, he might have built them just as a joke towards against me because he's a patron of mine and he might have just been like, I'll just do two-minute ones. But they're super short. Have you seen any of his takedown? No, never. Uh, maybe one ages ago for a game I was actually interested in. We Are in. Billions? I bet you it was that one. Or the, or something it Billions. Might, that, might have been. Yeah, I think it was that one because you and yeah. I talked. He, yeah, they're excellent. If you guys get a chance, check out Indio's reviews. Um, abbreviated Reviews is his YouTube channel. They are hilarious. And I think he started late. So just go do them. Um, it was an agent that grabbed Terry's balls. Oh, but don't I mean, grab man's, don't grab a man that big's balls, Jesus! Don't grab anybody's most likely. Don't but grab I mean, anybody, but not yeah. ma not a man that big. Yeah, don't, don't, yeah, yeah. You, you, could have, you could have a you could have a bad day. Um, will do, but does it uh, have sponsored bullcrap? No, it's just two minutes of him. I think he, I think his reviews, if I remember right, I think they stay in the same format of like, do you like to do this? Well, then try this. Do you like to do this? Like, do you like? Do you want to be a giant robot? If you do, then play this game. That kind of stuff. Just say what you think mm. about the game within the context you understand. Yeah, pretty much. And do I do and just talk shit and don't do reviews? Well, you did. I thought your takedowns takedowns were good, but just like everything, you gave up. I didn't give up. I've done 10. You're the only person I know who would probably stop eating if you were starving just because you get bored with it. You'd be like, nah. True. Ah. It depends if the food's good. If the food's, if the food's shit, I won't eat. <laughs> I'm just teasing you. Um, oh. It looks like everybody's getting into Anthem. Yeah, I was looking in the Discord. Almost every, and it's so funny because I've never seen such apathy for a game that everybody's getting into the beta early. It's like, eh, yeah. but I'm getting into the beta. Uh, I don't know. I'm getting into the beta though. There's a lot it's of exciting general, though. A lot of general apathy for it. Are you excited for it? I'm excited to try it because if it's good, then it's good, and if it's not, then I can forget about it. Oh, so it's more along that way, like just yeah, like you just more to... just want to get it done. I'm just curious to know if it's going to be good or not. I think that's what most people are like trying to get it done. If it's good, they got something to look forward to. If it's not, you've got Metro in the same week. Right. Because Metro is one of the most hyped games for me. Metro's when? Uh, 15th of February. Okay, gotcha. And this is 15th then, as well? Uh, this is 21st, so it's the week after. Okay. Yeah, that's interesting. Yeah. Um, your boy asks, if y'all could be reincarnated as an animal, which one would you pick? Hmm. Hmm. Spider. Spider? They're pretty short lived. Yeah, just a... yeah, but I don't want to be living as an any animal for that long because it's probably really shit. Yeah, no shit, right? Like being recar like yeah. people don't realize, you know, get out in the woods, pick any animal out in the woods, I bet you you're gonna get shot at at least once in your life. Exactly. What animal can you be that's going to be safe? Right. Everything's trying to eat you. Right. Everything's trying to eat you. You're in some... I mean, there's only a couple alphas of the food chain, and we're still the alpha yeah. above them. It's so, like, you could be a great Actually, white, and then get fucking plastic in your gills. What were you saying? I'd want to be somebody's pet cat, because I'll get looked after. And I can be a little slut and go around every house and get food every night. That's true. Our cat yeah, just walked... Cat. Our cat walked off because of that. Really? Yeah, it would go outside all the time, and one day it just never came home because another 
owner fed it, and it was just, or another yeah, person fed it. That's why I'd never have a cat again. You can't trust him. Nah, no nah, cats are cats are your shady best friend of the animal world, right? Yeah. The one that you don't quite know if they're just your friend because you have a really cool home or you've got a lot of money. You can never quite exactly. It's like it's one of those girlfriends you can't tell if she's with you because you're rich or not. That's why I assume everybody's me. with me for that. Yeah, all that YouTube money. Yeah. All that YouTube's. Pretty depressing to see this fucking video get demonetized. And just be Which like, one? this last one. It gets demonetized. Oh, yeah, got remonetized, then demonetized again, then remonetized. But Tapeworm. Mm. Holt says he wants to be reincarnated as a tapeworm. That's disgusting. <laughs> that is gross. That is disgusting. So let's uh let's settle let's settle the biggest most important discussion that we can settle here on the podcast. Best controller ever for any console. My favorite is the PlayStation 4, which I know you don't like. <sighs> Why do you like it's it at all? It doesn't even it's not even in the top 50. Even if there's only 49 consoles, it's not in the top 50. It just fits in my hands so nicely. For what? 3 minutes until the battery runs out? Well, I just have it plugged in, so it doesn't bother me. Oh, I see. So you do? You play it wired? I play it wired most of the time, and if I need to have it wired, it lasts long enough. Okay, okay, I can see that. Hey, what's up, bearded panda bear? Thank you very much for subscribing. I appreciate it. This one's this one's second, though. GameCube, Xbox. Great Ape says. Xbox One. Oh, no, GameCube, See, no. people are just taking the piss now, right? Now you know. N64, someone's going to say next. Jesus. Xbox One only issues the D-pad. Um, I would agree with that. Game Over Man says, but the PS4 pad is a huge improvement over the PS3. Yes. PS yeah, 100%. Sony's, PS3 is horrible. Yeah, Sony's made some good improvements. The original PS2, then PS2 with analog sticks, then PS3, then PS4. I think they've got continually continually better. Yeah. Um, I think Xbox probably has overall, even though I wasn't the 360, between the Xbox original and the 360. I think people like the Xbox S controller more than the 360, but I could be wrong. Sega Genesis. Yeah, I like the Sega Genesis version with three three and three buttons. XYZ, XY, or ABC. God, that was good. Love that. I want six face buttons. I've always wanted six. And we still, we're still just rocking the triangle. I fucking hate that. Yeah. Where's mine? Ooh. Did you like the GameCube? Did you like any Nintendo controller? Because I haven't. Not a single one. I didn't like the SNES. I didn't... Don't like the SNES or the NES because they're both just tiny. They're painful ridiculous. too. Yeah, they hurt. They hurt over long periods. Because if you've got big hands like we do, then it's just cramp. Right, right. What are you... The GameCube... Hmm. No, because that stupid little yellow stick pissed me off. Right. That little yellow stick was just ridiculous. The N64, I don't know how anyone can like that. That's just a... It's a like, shit weird. controller. Yeah. The Wii was not good. No. No. The Wii U wasn't a controller. It was just a fucking gamepad controller. That doesn't even count, I don't think. What's a the little switch like, doesn't count. Switch doesn't. Yeah. Switch is. I mean, the only one, maybe the Pro controller, is the only one that I'd like. The Pro. Oh, you know, the, the, oh, the GameCube. The, uh, yeah. the, the, I'm sorry, the, the Switch Pro. Yeah. The Switch or the Wii yeah. U Pro. Okay, that's I. But I think they're. But pretty... then it's still not great. It's still not great. Right. Yeah, I would say yeah. Xbox and Pro remind me of each other a lot. There's a lot of like X. There's a lot of like facilities on both the smoothness of both i think with the ps4 controller the only problem i have is the you know because it's got the hooks I don't, yeah. I, whatever you describe it i think their buttons are a little bit better than the xbox i don't like the xbox bumper buttons at all i think they're pretty terrible no, same they're they're too clicky I'm gonna look now. you know they're like tick, tick. yeah no i don't the yeah. triggers are fine i don't like the bumper oh these i hate them yeah Ooh, yeah i hate that i think the ps4 bumpers are better um, oh, good, hey, too much resistance. Mr. Potato Head's Weird. got the same one I do. He's got the Razer Raju or Raju for the PS4. I have the Razer, but I also have the one from, I think, Nike, 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 I think I have that. I think that's the brand, and I'm very happy with that. But basically, just mimics an Xbox controller on your PC. Um, yeah. What's your favorite D-pad on a controller? Xbox 360. I really like that D-pad. Oh, the D-pad. Uh... I don't I'd use... the PS4. P... Really? Yeah, PS4 is better than the Xbox One. Xbox One fixed it in their update, but I would agree with that. Great paper. I want side buttons at the base of your index fingers. Well, yeah, look at... Remember, Microsoft, uh, 14 years ago, had a controller 
with elite buttons and then they went away from it. And I've always believed that we're missing a bunch of buttons. Like, why is it that your pinkies can't do the menu button, right? Like, yeah. they, like, like, take that space for something else. What do people think there's going to be in the future on these new controllers? I don't know. Mm, I don't know. I don't think they need to add much. I feel like it's really? just going to be, like, I think the gyroscope's going to go away, most likely. The fucking bullshit, hold your PS4. You know, we're going to check your yeah, light bar. I hate that shit. Um, I think that uh, probably thumbsticks being adjustable in some way. Um, different D-pads, like the Elite, where you can switch <clears throat> shit out, maybe? Yeah, that'd be good. Yeah. Overall. Yeah, more, cust more, more customizable control as a standard control, not a pro control. Do you, would yeah, you like to see the PS4 dollars. get rid of the shit-ass big square touchpad? I would. I would love uh, for them to get rid of that. I hate that fucking thing. Yeah, it's never been really well used that many games, right. to be honest. Right. If you have questions, get feel of, free to push them. the light as well. Yeah, true. Uh, Sagerius, I think I'm pronouncing that right, says gyro on the PS4 controller may, uh, may go away. Don't they use it for the PSVR? They do for the PSVR, but the PS4 replacement, the PS5, I would assume they will not use the same old technology. If they do, they're in deep shit. Great Ape says core games could use another four to six shoulder, not face buttons. Whoa, what? How four many? Four to six more four shoulders. To six Jesus molded? Christ. What the fuck? Are you an alien? What the fuck's he talking That'd about? That'd be eight. Eight on the back in total. Jesus. Well, no, if he's talking about on the back, but he said on the shoulders. I, he must, I think he's, he must be talking about like this. I look, well, I bet then, you people watching the stream are going, what the fuck? Even four on the back would be ridiculous. You mean you wouldn't want a button here, here, and here? For your no, three? I mean, I'm, I'm accustomed to this now, so I don't, I mean, unless you're talking about Elite Dangerous, what game's going to optimize? Right, right. Standard FPS isn't even going to need any more buttons. Okay, that's fair enough. Uh, get I rid of the touchpad and the light bar. Elite Dangerous would use yeah. it, yeah. So, uh, flight games. You know, games yeah. with... Yeah, but for flight games, you only want HOTUS. HOTUS is the way forward for that shit. Yeah, I've so you played um, HOTUS with uh, Ace, right? Yeah, it's it's a different experience. It's like a different game. It's fantastic. Is it not? It's so much more control is allowed with that game with that uh, joystick over oh, the game. Oh, God, yes. Yeah, it's so much more involved. What about uh, PSVR? Have you tried Ace Combat with PSVR? I haven't tried it, mate. Yeah, Why? I just set it up. Why? Because... I don't know where it is. It's a piece of shit, so I threw it somewhere and I can't find it. PSVR doesn't even deserve to be in my house. Yeah. No, I mean, I get that, but dude, you've got it, right? Like, you're missing out if you... I mean, you, you've got it, at least. You should at least try it. Yeah. Uh, what, what time do we say we'd end? 30 minutes from now? Is that right? Yeah, 30 for to, minutes. For you to hit yes. the sack so you can get your beauty sleep? I need to hit my sack multiple times. Um... Plague Souls says, have you ever used a Bluetooth controller peripheral for any mobile games? I did a couple times. I've never really been a fan of... If it's mobile, I want it to be fully mobile. I don't want to have a controller with it. Um, so I usually just use whatever's on the you know touch on the screen, and I hate that. So Jerry says, I'm buying Borderlands 2 VR soon, Ace Combat soon after. I, did, I haven't tried the Borderlands 2 VR much. I tried a little bit of it. Um, patents from a couple months ago for Sony mentioned a touchscreen. Yeah. But remember, patents... For both Xbox and Microsoft have been they patent everything. Remember, Sony patented McDonald's in one of their patents because they wanted to use the camera to see if you're sitting there so they could run a McDonald's ad, and that didn't pop up. So don't assume that patents mean much of anything. Patents can mean all kinds of stuff. Um, I don't know, man. I'm trying to think of like what I would like to see. Are you going to use mouse and keyboard on your Xbox at all? Because that's no, no, I don't use that on my PC, let alone my Xbox. That's true. Yeah. That's true. You you do sort of have a tendency to stick if you can at all with the con with the controllers and stuff every time. So, but then I have a question. If so, don't you run into games where you do wish they had more buttons? It doesn't seem like. It seems like if you're know. the one who likes controllers so much, you would like to see them advance and have more ability to control. I don't know, game. I've never played a game. And I thought, and ever thought to myself, oh, I could do it some more buttons on this control. It's never happened in any game I've ever played. So you didn't do Elite, I'm assuming. No, never done Elite. If I did Elite, I might do that with keyboard and mouse because there's so many more buttons. You don't play Sims, the Sims series, like I do. No, okay. I do that on PC and I'd use keyboard and mouse for that okay. as well. Okay, gotcha. Okay, that's fair enough. I mean, if, if, if you're just... RTS, not... I use keyboard and mouse. Okay. But here's the thing. 
So Civilization, did you ever play that? Because we talked about your dad liking Revolution, right? Wasn't that your dad who liked Re Civs Re Civ Civilization Revolution? No, oh, I'm sorry. So. It was somebody else that we were talking about. Their parents liked Too many dads. Too many yeah, dads. too many dads. Um, that sounds like a porn. Too many dads number <laughs> five. So when you're playing an RTS, wouldn't you like mm -hmm. to see the, con the consoles have a controller that in some way allowed... For somebody to play an RTS with a controller, like haptic, like Steam. I don't know. I've never used a controller with more buttons, so I don't know if I'd like it. To be honest, I've never, I've only ever played with the standard controllers. I've never bought one of those Pro controllers or the Elite or anything. Okay, here we go. Halo Two, Halo Wars Two. Did you try that? On PC, yeah. Keep oh, on. Oh, on PC. Okay, okay. Shoot, yeah. I would have liked to have seen you try that on console and think <laughs> if that was the one that you were like, okay, now I need. No. To well, I can't about, play Sims on console and stuff like that. But I mean, but... is it only because... That's what I'm saying. I think it's because of the because controller. Because of the control, yeah. Right, yeah. so I'm saying, what if the controller did have advancements that allowed for it to be easier? Well, I don't know. For me, it's more of the movement rather than the buttons. It's more of... I prefer the mouse for moving around the screen and stuff. Understood. It's more accurate yeah. than the... And faster. Gamepad. When, when you get yeah. an RTS and it requires those lickety-split, you know... Yeah, you can buttons. just go boom, 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 boom. Yeah. Yeah, and I think people think, oh, then why wouldn't a first-person shooter do that? Well, that's because a first-person shooter usually is, they're targeted towards a controller on the controller versions. And so things move a little slower, what have you. Um, yeah, it's interesting. You Did you enjoy uh, Call of Duty, the new one, on controller? Or did you go PC? Oh, PS4 control. And you're fine with that? Oh. You feel like... Yeah, that was good. Okay. Yeah, I can't imagine what more buttons would do. Yeah, honest, I mean, sort of well, I mean, it would probably switch to a favorited weapon. It would probably, yeah. um, you know. You've got, you've got quick buttons for that anyway, where you just press the directional pad and it changes weapon. Seems to always work that way now, doesn't it? Directional pad. Yeah. Directional pad is never for walking anymore in those games, ever. Oh, Great Ape does say one thing. With two more buttons leaning and peeking out, and FPSs could become more standard. That is true. I think that, that, that that's fair. Work. That's fair. For sure. If you have one more set of buttons, imagine like just your middle fingers had one other button for each middle finger. You could peek and then bumper yeah. would do a different thing, like throw a grenade while trigger would shoot your gun. I could. That's that's completely fair. I think that makes sense. Speaking of that, are you a big Gears fan? I've played them all. Yeah, I love the Gears games. If I told you I was making a movie about Gears, would you be interested? It depends if you're making it or if the person's making it. Sorry, if, if 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 I said that there was a Gears of War movie or TV show, would you be interested? Uh, yeah, actually. It depends if it follows the games. If it follows the games, because I like those stories. Okay, gotcha. So I've been having an issue with this. Um, I don't like it. I don't, I'm, I'm not, I'll, I'll give it a chance, but you got your Halo movie that was almost made. You have your TV show, which I thought was actually pretty good. The four episode oh, yeah. thing. But yeah, nightfall, whatever. yeah, but I mean, it's just like a lot of games are are interesting because their interactivity and your experiences through them, not the characters. John for Halo is boring as fuck, and I've I've read the mm -hmm. books and I thought that they were okay. They gave some backstory, but I wouldn't want to see a John, a Halo Master Chief TV show. Like you'd just yeah. be shooting everybody all the time. That's true. So it's like, what games would you think would make a good TV show? I mean, have a good enough story mm -hmm. until dawn. But it's short. It's like it's already done though. That's already the done. game is the film, isn't it? The <laughs> game is. Yeah, it's a it's a it made is. for TV movie, right? I I don't know if it's a game I'd like, but I'd like David Cage to try doing a Bandersnatch no. thing. Really? I'd like to see oh. him do something like Bandersnatch. Oh, see I got gotcha. you. Put it off. In, see if he if he'd be better at films than games. What about Detroit Become Human as multiple episodes like Bandersnatch, but it's just with actors? That could be cool. Yeah. Did you like Quantum Breaks cutscenes? Because I don't think you did. I haven't played that much. My, no, okay. I played with my dad, and we got he got bored of watching them, so I didn't. Okay, okay, gotcha. I've just because wondered... you if, if you're in the mood to play a game, you don't want to watch a cutscene. And if you're in the mood to watch watch a TV show, you don't want to play a game. So it's a bit right. weird mixing. It's a bit weird, isn't it? That's why I think yeah. if they do it quickly, it's fine. But once they start getting too involved, you, a lot of gamers just skip them. Well, dude, yeah, and I like played games half, with you. Half you an skip, hour episode. You skip the shortest shit anyway. Like we'll, we played that MMO, and the guy talked for one minute, and you're like, too much. So, yeah, yeah it if it's not a story I'm interested in, or because MMOs usually don't have the most interesting story for me to care about. So Game Over Man like, said something interesting. He says he'd love to see a Gears game from the Locust perspective. Yeah, that'd be interesting. So what, humans are the invaders, and you're like terrorists almost? You're like, like 
what would you do in it? I mean, because we just, all the gears just kill everybody. Would you just go for it yeah. and die? And then, like, what would you do as a, what would the story be in a game if it was based on the locusts? The first attacks, maybe? Maybe, because the locusts don't lose, but they don't win. No, they, they kind of win, don't they? Because they never get rid of them. They're in every game. Exactly. So they never actually, they never lose. They're, right. They actually win every that, time. That, that's really. my actual agreement. They, be, they won at the starting. The rest, yeah, they the, won. the Gears game is just an after story, right? I mean, if you think about it, yeah. like they, they've, they, they won already. It's, it's more like, well, maybe, yeah, they did. Yeah, really. Yeah, they won. Wrong. And they keep winning. In every subsequent game, they always win because there's not many humans left and the humans always kill a certain subset, but then there's always thousands of more. Right. They, they, right. they never actually take them out, do they? Ever. No, no, that's that. It'd be interesting to see, though. Plague Souls says that would be sick. Maybe fighting a uh, sicker alien race planet, conquering a planet as the locusts. Okay. Yeah, maybe a different planet, or just from the same perspective, from the perspective of the locust, with the same story where you take on Marcus Phoenix and maybe. You oh, on... you mean like so? Marcus is doing like Marcus's thought he's one or whatever, and you're a locust yeah, and... special forces or yeah. something. Yeah, you're. Yeah, or you can be the main one in the queen or whatever. I don't know. Even though they, yeah, yeah, be interesting. A, I wish more games did that in series where you played. They had a game where you played the other side as a spinoff. It absolutely should. We talked about this. I still think a Joker video game would be amazing. I think a video yeah. game based on Batman's enemies or somebody a, a, a superhero criminal game would be fucking phenomenal. Would be amazing. It would be. I'm XCOM. surprised Rocksteady haven't thought about that. I, dude, do you think that they haven't though? Do you think that somebody probably? I reckon just Warner Brothers have said no. What? They did Suicide Squad, right? Didn't I mean we've got yeah, bad guy? But, Go ahead. Yeah, from the game point of view, though, I don't think it's as popular. I don't know why. You don't see it often in games. You see it much more in films and TV shows. Okay. You'd never really see it in games, though, do you? If, I can't think of any examples where you play as the bad guy when you've already played as the good guy in a different game. I can't. Yeah. Think of it. Um. Any. What's up, Abzi? I don't think so. I think you're right. We haven't. Um. So, what was the shooter that everybody liked the story from, and you turn out to be the bad guy in it? I wasn't a big fan. Um, it's the one where you're crazy and you're in Iraq. It's the shooter, yeah. and you're like, you're sort of nuts, and everybody's like, it's the best story ever. I actually wasn't e even impressed. Oh, with it. The, um, uh, Spec Ops, Germ game over. Spec Ops, says, the yeah, line, yeah. yeah. So I've never that, played it. You're not really a bad guy though, because the game tries to pretend you're a good guy half the time. So like. It, it that just doesn't work. I I don't know. I would like to see them try, but so you think they just wouldn't do it? They just don't want to because why? Because you kill people? Because you kill people in some super know. games? I just don't, I just don't know. I don't know why it hasn't been done. So there must be a reason. The companies must be saying no. You'd have to pick the right villain, right? Because it can't be Bane. It, it would have to be the Joker. I think depending on the Joker version would be good. Heart of Darkness. Heart of Darkness. I don't know what that. I don't know what that is. Heart of Darkness, really, is what Grey Paper says. Is Heart of Darkness a game? Heart of Darkness is a movie. Uh, Abzi says, I love the Joker gameplay in Injustice 2. Yeah, I personally feel... Imagine this, guys. Imagine an open-world game where you're the Joker or a bad guy. You're continually pulling off crimes, and your sub-bosses are heroes sent to your city to try to take you down, and you take them down. And then a next, more powerful hero comes. More powerful heroes continue to be the sub-bosses. Because right now, it's actually sort of fucking stupid when you think that you're a hero and the enemies wait and then come after you. But in almost all the games, it's a or TV shows, it's actually the opposite. Where mm. the there's too many bad guys and the good guy has to take them down and then occasionally there's a bad guy. It doesn't really make a lot of sense. But if you were the bad guy and you were doing shit in all hero movies, there's too many bad guys. The hero can't take them all. So that's the way you would do is you would climb up the ladder of infamy and you get to a certain point and fucking, like, let's say you get to a certain point and the arrow comes after you and you fucking kill him. And so they're like, oh shit. And now other people are talking about you, other heroes. And they're like, we got to take this guy down. The Justice League is your fucking, is your ladder that you have to go through of good guys. And you're just yeah. taking them, you're taking them down. You're taking them down. You're learning shit. You're as some, as Mr. Potato Head says, the Nemesis system could work in this. I I personally think the Nemesis system is blown out of proportion in how cool it is, but I do think a system like that could work because I wouldn't want Wonder Woman getting killed and showing back up with an immunity to fire. It would make no fucking sense. So, but the Nemesis system overall could be used in that way. But wouldn't you think it'd be cool? Imagine like 
taking out all these good guys finally. That's why I liked uh, DC Villains Lego so much. Yes. Because right? I did it, just not on a proper game scale, just did it on a Lego scale, which You're, is still awesome. It's still awesome. And by the way, anybody, that's it's one of the best Lego games out there. I think Takedown likes it the best of all the... It's my, it's my favorite Lego game out of all of them. I've played them all, every single one. Yeah. What if they gave you the freedom to plan bank heists and stuff like that, Abzi says? That's exactly what I'm talking about. That is exactly yeah. what I mean. Is imagine setting up your base. So Saints Row, but turned around. Remember in Saints Row, you did well, then you could buy a home... But imagine setting up like this evil base of operations. You fucking, you know, you're you're sending guys out to do shit. Then you're going out and doing stuff. Then finally you hear that a good guy's on their way. You know, you're paying people off. You're bribing fucking people to, to like let your guys out, you know. Because right now, for example, Odyssey, you pay off people because you've killed too many people. And you pay them off to stop an assassin from coming at you, a mercenary. But in this way, what if the police are coming at you and you can pay off a police commissioner? It makes more sense morally. It actually doesn't make a lot of sense that you're a murderer in, Assa in Assassin's Creed Odyssey and mercenaries come after you. But it does yeah. make more sense if you're a bad guy and you're paying off good guys from coming in. I don't know why people haven't done it. You think, some you think somebody's thought of it and they just turn they kiboshed it. I think it gets no-noed a lot and I don't know what it does. Because yeah. you're right though. You are absolutely right that Villains does it. Villains does, villains does just it, this. That's a cute Lego game so maybe they don't want to do it on a real game over. Looking. You just reminded me. The Godfather games do this. Godfather 1 and 2, Xbox 3, oh, Xbox Original sure. and Xbox 360. Xbox 360 Godfather 2 is a fantastic open world game. Scarface on the Xbox uh, Original or 360, I can't remember which, also does that. So, yep, good point. Mafia could do it, but I want I would like to see a superhero game do it. Just because I want to yeah, kill same. all the good guys. Imagine killing Wonder Woman, even if you don't kill her. They all have obscure death rule, which if nobody knows what that is, it just means the bad, the, the person dying dies in a way that you can't tell if they're dead. But imagine, or trapping them. What if you, what if each time you kill a person, it's almost like you put them in a jail, like Batman puts criminals in jail, but you're putting them in like, you're freezing them in your fucking hold of, you know, killitude or whatever you fucking call it, your special yeah. place. That'd be good. I don't know. You can tell I'm excited about this. I, I just, I think I'd it'd be like awesome. it. Um... Mafia 3 mm, doesn't really do that as much. You are you are pretty nefarious in Mafia 3. Did you play that, Takedown? Yeah, most boring uh, missions y yeah, you weren't, of you weren't all time. A fan. Yeah, you weren't a fan. Yeah, as you guys can tell, I'm pretty excited about this. Sorry. Oh, I could go off for hours on I honestly think the morals of video games, they fit them into being a hero, where in uh -huh. all actuality, all of the gameplay systems we built would make more sense if you were the bad guy. And I just am waiting for that moment to come. Or raise serial murderers and send them off to do your bidding. No, I don't mean it that dark. Um, but that would still be cool. I don't, I don't think it would be popular in, in today's culture as well. Because then you'd have loads of people complaining that, oh, you're letting the good guy, you're letting the bad guys win. And the bad guys don't always lose. And that yeah. morals are blah, blah, blah. I think that would be a problem as well. But do you win Jessica Jones' main protagonist or main antagonist in the first game was a murderer and everybody loved him tenant did, su did such a good job he made he was evil until That's the very true. last episode i think he's so loved as an actor i mean that guy so raped her to see him he was yeah. a rapist remember he i mean because he had sex with her right I, they didn't show it multiple, but i'm saying multiple times yeah it always you, mind power obviously right so here is a That's rapist right. yes yeah. for sure here's a rapist that people celebrated in the current media as being an amazing uh, antagonist, which I'm okay with. As an antagonist, they need to have that evil. Because when the good guy takes him down, you feel that sense. But, but the good guy did take him down. What if, the good, a... what if the end of your game, you just escape with obscure death, or you lose and the good guys take you down? I mean, it could still work in a game. Obscure, well, yeah, yeah I see what you're saying. Well, but Lex Luthor yeah. never gets really taken down. He gets sent to jail and breaks out every three minutes. Yeah, that, all the DC villains and Marvel villains do that. But then yeah. it's always with the fact that the heroes are going to get them, aren't they? You always know the hero is going to take them down again. Have you ever seen that amazing YouTube video? It's like four hours long that describes that um, Commander Shepard is the ultimate bad guy. Very cool. No. Very cool. They break down the Mass Effect games and are like, technically, Shepard is one of the most nefarious, evil, conniving bad guys ever in a video game. If you track what they do, how they do it, how they go about it. And... It's not saying the Reapers aren't bad. It was just saying that Commander Shepard, like, if you look at the way they're done. But I don't think you played... Did you play all three of the Mass Effects? 
Yeah, I played them all. I played Andromeda as well. What'd you think of Andromeda? A good one. A good one. You I think? liked Andromeda. No. I did. I enjoyed it. No, I'm it saying a lot. no, it's impossible. Did I, you really I like that? Andromeda? And yeah. What else did I enjoy? Yeah, that one. Why? I don't know. I just thought it was game of the year material. No, no fuck, I, I didn't shut up. That. Yeah, you're lying. I didn't think that, but I didn't. I did that. I enjoyed it more. Said it was. I didn't think it was as bad as people made out. Just as a game, not as a Mass Effect game, just as a basic game. Did, will you ever it. return to it? No, I've hundred percent did everything I need to do in that. Okay, uh, you're getting a bunch of icons in the chat. <laughs> like what the? No, it's cool, man. I mean, you know, I like games people don't like. I liked Primal. I know a lot of people aren't a fan of that. Um, yeah, I liked Hardline Battlefield, best Battlefield game ever made. Well, that doesn't say much, but it's also not true. Um, how was the Indian Andromeda for you? I dislike that the most about it. Yeah, the Indian was not good. Oh, I don't know. I don't know, dude. What? Did, so you're saying you just like the combat in Andromeda? I just like the game as a whole. I don't know what it was. I just I didn't think it was as bad as people made out. So well, you I know what? It. I have to in some way give you a, say that I sort of agree, at least in other games, because you and I both like Homefront, the Revolution. Homefront, which, which is game. did you see Crazy Herb yesterday? He's like, it absolutely is worth somebody getting. Like, he was just like, I have yeah. no clue. It That game just got slept on, so. Yeah, it's a shame, because it was, it won't ever get a sequel, probably, because of right. that. Right, and it had a troubled development, which, again, like Crackdown 3, it'll be interesting to see how that worked out. What else do we got? We're almost out of time for you. We're at 20, we're at 25. You're, it's it's almost bedtime. It's almost sleepy, sleepy, deepy time for takedown. Sleepy time. Never what time is it for you right now? Uh, half past eight. So you, you go to bed at 9? I go to bed at 10. To, trying to, oh, so you're going to do shit, relax, what have you. I'm going to do, do multiple shits. Wow. Oh, shit. I didn't need to hear about that. Do you go to, are you trying to hit the sack at 10? Perfectly? Uh, yeah, usually. I'm just going to find out if I'm doing something, because if I'm not, I'm going to stay on longer. What do you, mm. to do something what? Your family? With my brother, because there's a big tournament on Sunday for Dragon Ball, and he wants to play, practice, but I can't be bothered. But. Oh, gotcha. You don't need to practice. Nah. Oh, um, I love Road Redemption, and no one talks about that game. You know, I, I tried a little bit of Road Redemption. I admit I love Road Rash, but I wasn't... I don't know. It didn't really grab me. Road I thought Redemption. Andromeda had a compelling story in combat. Wow. Oh, yeah. Everyone's coming out with their true colors. Everyone? There was one person. Everyone. One person. Every one of him. Every one of him. <laughs> Everyone. Yeah, you're absolutely right. Uh, you know what, though? Okay. Sell me on Andromeda. Go. Go take time. I can't remember anything about it. Oh to be my god. So how do you know it was even good if you can't remember anything about it? I remember enjoying it. I remember liking the vehicle. Okay. Okay. <laughs> I remember liking the terrain on the planet. Okay. Uh, the combat I didn't think was bad. The story I, I enjoyed. I don't think it was thing. good. I think it wasn't bad. I've never enjoyed the combat in Mass Effect games though personally. True. Yeah. They're 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 never super strong, are they? They're always quite jankish, yeah. jankish. But no, I just remember enjoying it. I don't know, there's loads of games that I like that people don't like. What's that one on go PS3 that everyone hated? Here Haze. We go. No, you didn't like Haze. I liked Haze. No, I really liked Haze. negative. That, how? I did, I loved. Oh, I loved the, uh, what was it? The, uh, there was like You're a making me tired there, now. Now I need to go to bed. How do you like Haze? Haze? I, lo I really liked Haze. I thought that was really underrated. Wait, remind me of what Haze is. I, I'm think I'm Wait, thinking um, I'm actually thinking of a different game. I'm thinking of Black. Is Haze oh, the Insomniac well. game? Is Haze the Insomniac game with four players, um, four characters? It was Free Radical Design, published by Ubisoft. Okay, I'm thinking of a different game. Explain to me what Haze is. Do you remember? I'll show, I'm going to show you the cover up just in case it flip like makes you remember because I can't remember anything about it. Okay, let me look at this. Let me see if you're just full of shit or mm, that doesn't work for me. Okay, what was the Insomniac game that was four characters and you could switch between the four on a team? It was one of the first games I reviewed and I actually think that other than Bugs, there were some aspects I did like and I, it, it might have been Haze. Because I was thinking of Black. The shooter Black. I thought that was I really that like, well. I thought that was lackluster as fuck. They've done... No, 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 no. Resistance, no, no. Ratchet and Clank, no. Outernauts, Fuse, Edge of Nowhere, fuse. Disruptor. I was thinking Fuse, thank fuse. you. Yeah. Oh, no, I didn't play that. Yeah. 
I probably would have liked Which game was the one where you manipulate terrain? Was that Fuse? I mean, there's been a couple games know. where you manipulate terrain. Uh, all that comes to mind is Red, Red Faction, Faction to me. Yeah. Mars Turd. Yeah. Remars turd. Remars turd. That is that is indi that is that shows you right there that a re that a remastered game versus a remake what the difference can be. Yeah, I mean, Resident Evil Two versus that. Yeah, Resident Evil Two versus that, right? I mean, Remars turd was legitimately not a great game. It was just uh, so so terrible. Laid back boy. I am. Did you find oh. out from your bro? So what's going on with Dragon Ball? You got the, a new thing got released, right? I knew I yeah, saw you thing. celebrating a new. I built, I built two decks out of it. What decks? You got them there with you. You look like you were reaching. Uh, over. Maybe. Is this the one? So how do you build a deck? Do you decide on what you want to do in this deck? Like this is an aggressive deck. This is a defensive deck. Is that what you mean? Uh, yeah. Usually, because usually by now in America the the meta list would be out, and I could just copy and paste it. But I had to make my own this time. What's a meta Where list? Oh, the meta is the best. Uh, cards, the best decks. So I have a question for you. Why would you play a game if everybody could possibly have the best deck? Why would you... See, if if you... there's no actual dynamic feel, if everybody's going to show up to a tournament with the with the best deck? Well, you, you get the meta deck, which is the best, but then you get the anti-meta deck, which is the best against that meta deck. And then you get other decks that might be good against other decks, because not every... But there's not one deck that can beat everything. Are there's you only one allowable deck. to go to the tournament with one deck? Yeah, you can only go. You can only play I one see. deck in a tournament. So yeah. you got to you got to figure out. You got to figure out. <laughs> so Jerry says even Atlas had people defending it. That is true. So you so you're saying when you went in to your tournament, you choose a deck. Somebody knows yeah. what deck you've chosen. They know that you can't. You're not switching it. This one deck mm -hmm. you've got. So you have to decide. If other people are going to be aggressive that day or something, like you have to go, yeah. okay, what are they going to play, and then sort of try to play, and then you got to assume that they're going to do the same thing. So you're all trying to decide who's chosen what. Yeah, and this is a big tournament as well. It's thirty-two people. Can you beat somebody with the wrong deck? If you have, a, yeah, if you guess they're really, wrong, they're really shit, and then they had really bad luck. Then yeah, because luck is of the draw, right? Because you're still drawing yeah. in your hand. So you. That you yeah, and I could, what, but that's why you play certain cards, like because you play, you can play a four up to four of one card. So if you really want to get that card, you play four of it. If you're not as wanting to get it, you play two or three. So you increase your chances by playing four of a card that you really want to see. Because you have fifty-two, how many how many cards? Yeah, makes up because a deck? you have fifty in a deck, and if you've 50, got four of the same card, was, yeah. you're more likely to draw it. Gotcha. Yeah, we only played yeah. that once. We got stuck somewhere. I know you were laughing, saying, how'd you get stuck? But I can't remember what it was, but I think it was just like, you know, what we wanted to pull and can we do this and, you know, timing. That always yeah. comes up like, you know, when can you play a card? When can you not play a card? But yeah, so, loads of rules. Yeah, you seem to fucking love it. But here's the thing. If I show up with a starter deck, I can't beat you. You could. If how? you had the... Um, no, you wouldn't. No, no you wouldn't. The starter decks are never good, though. The starter decks are never like meant to be like competitive. Why is it called starter? Why isn't stuff? it called loser deck then? I don't understand. Because it starts you off, but then you buy other cards to build it and make it better. So it's, it's just, just a, a money. It's just a money grab. Starter. No, because it <laughs> it gives you cards you need in order to build oh. bigger decks. So okay. It comes with all the cards you'll need to improve it. Otherwise, you'd have to spend loads of money on getting individual cards. So it okay, starts so, you off with a basic deck to build. Yeah, but deck. here's the thing, because I think this is a bunch Ow. of bullshit. Here's the thing. How many? Did you bite yourself? No, I clipped myself. Oh, how building. many of your starter deck do you still have in your current deck? Uh, well, any? Any? Just one or more? Do you have? I need to have a look. This deck's got no starter in it at all. It's got exactly. It's even... So it's called a shit deck. It's you're buying a poop deck, right? Oh, the deluxe one, version is available. I don't know. This one's is. got a lot of starter cards in it. Okay. Yeah, okay. three, three of them do. One of them oh, doesn't. Okay. Okay, that makes sense. Okay. Because you get something called a themed booster box where right. they release a separate theme story wise, and then you can build a deck from that but that comes with no starters. And then you get a main series set that comes with starter deck. Okay. So Okay. Yeah. That makes all right. It just seems but, yeah. I just don't like money grab games. And I mean, all, all card games are money grab games, though, aren't they? Not they all. all rely not all. On... Because, like I said, the collectible card game Arkham card game is not. And that's why I liked that's, it. Yeah. Legendary is not. Um, everybody plays from the same deck. Is there any ways... So you guys don't ever play each other's cards or anything. It's your deck. 
Yeah, I mean, if I'm testing with my brother, I'll play his deck and he'll play mine just to give us a different perspective of a deck to learn it better. Gotcha. Would you say, nerd level 1 to 10, how nerdy are you on this game? Like, meta knowledge. It sounds like you're pretty much a 10. I spent $200 last week on stuff for it. So. Wow. Probably. Well, you think I'm bad. Mr. Matty spends, I think, more than me. We've, we talk about Dragon Ball and we both buy a lot. Oh, on Discord or whatever? Yeah. On Twitter, yeah. Oh, on Twitter, yeah. I saw you guys talking about getting your new... Like, you said you got something, which I didn't even understand. Or he said he got something. When you got... You, I think you asked him, did you get a blah, blah, blah? And he's like, yeah. Oh, did he? Secret rare, yeah. Secret um, rare. Mr. Potato says, LOL, makes me feel not so bad about that bulk of protein I bought. Yeah, exactly. Like, wait, like... it. I mean, everything does cost money. I think the reason why I like Hero Clicks is you're... Guys I sent you years ago, feels like years ago, but those guys I sent you take down, you could still beat me with whatever I have. And I still like, I like that. You you can have themes and they can give you pluses, but it doesn't mean you can't, you know, that you don't yeah. have a chance or a good chance of actually beating them. But I get you, I get cool. you. So how much have you spent on, if you don't want to say this is fine, how much do you think you total spent on Dragon Ball? Go. Um, thousand pounds maybe. Thousand pounds, so thirteen hundred dollars total. That's yeah. not that bad for a collectible no. thingy. That's that's better. Now, is I mean, that because you're smart maybe more. and you know where to go to get what you need? Is it's that because I'll usually um, uh, I'll usually buy single cards rather than boxes. Some I'll, when a new set comes out, I'll buy two boxes or one box. Then you get all the common cards, and then after that, you start buying the special ones individually. Okay, gotcha. On like eBay or whatever. Or yeah, your, your cool. version of eBay or somebody else's version of eBay. Okay, gotcha. eBay UK, boys. What's that one those guys had? There was some weird name. I think Absy was telling me. There was, it's like Canada's eBay. It's like Etsy or some fucking weird thing. No, that Etsy, 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 yeah. is, Etsy is a different Etsy's thing. cool. Yeah, I use Etsy for a couple of the, like when I want something, you know, special made. Homemade, for your, like, yeah. special made condoms or something, yeah. Well, 99 cent store condoms. No, thank you. Etsy condoms for extra small micro penis. That's micro what I penis. Can I get the micro penis? Uh, <laughs> I'd send them to you as a gift. What else do we got? Do you have to go? If you have to go, it's fine. We're, we are. I need to go for a piss. You want to go? You want to talk a little a longer? Or do you need to go? It's up to you. No, let's go for a piss. It's right okay. here. Okay. Go on. for a piss. Oh, great. Hopefully his mic stays on. Oh, damn it. Damn it. I'll, I'll leave it on. And you see no, you don't leave it. it on. I don't want a naked gun moment. Turn the fucking thing off. Nobody wants to hear you pee. So what about you guys in chat? Any games that anybody else does like this, like Dragon Ball, Hero Clicks, Magic, um, what I've been liking is games that don't require this kind of stuff. So Arkham, living card game, you can play the full game and you 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 can still build decks. Legendary, you can still build decks. Uh, you don't need to buy anything extra and you can still do, you do exactly the same. You have more or less of a chance of doing things, but I just want to know what everybody else thinks. I play Star Wars Destiny. Yeah, I've got that too. Is it Destiny? Is that the one? No, I've got Star Wars um, Imperial Assault. That one is a blast, where it's like half D&D &D game, half um, board game. And that has been a blast to get people who don't know if they want to play D&D &D to play, because you still read a scenario, and then you jump in there, and you sort of decide, basically you read a scenario, and how well you did decides on which next scenario you go to. And there's, I think there's 100 in that book which I've really liked because that means we could play the same game multiple times. And each time you jump in, you read a different, you know, a different scenario of what's come up. So if you destroyed all the bad, killed all the bad guys and found all the secret plans in some base, you would go to a different scenario than a person who failed and had to be rescued. And you can only have a couple failures before that leads you to a death tree and it's over, which I thought was really cool because the first three times we played Imperial Assault, we lost. And it was great. Uh, I loved that because it, it it's like, but it was, you lose in a way where they read you the narrative. They're like, due to the multiple failures of your special forces team, the empire has found your hidden base, blah, blah, blah. And, uh, you know, it was, it was bigger than that, but I liked it. Game Over Man says, the only card game I played was Gwent and Witcher 3. Card games have always felt like money eaters, but I'll check out them free ones you mentioned. Yeah, there's a lot of free ones. There's a lot that you pay 50 bucks and that's it. The, um, a lot of living card games depending on how you play them can go farther. Um, but I think that when it comes to the best ones that I've enjoyed, Legendary, which is a uh, uh, Marvel-based, 
Actually, it's got DC now too, I think. I could be wrong. But Legendary is a game where you buy it and everything's there. And you build out of a main deck as you play for all the players, which I thought was really cool. There's DC, a uh, card, card building game, I think is what it's called. And that's the same way. So those are fantastic because you can actually level up characters and do all this stuff. I don't know what he's doing. He's pretending to fucking... He's probably pretending to piss or something. You can't tell. Grape Ape says, I use like 50 or 60 of Pathfinder subscriptions, Adventure Paths, and lore books. Yeah, I have the Pathfinder board game. I thought that was okay, but I haven't really enjoyed the Pathfinder stuff. To be honest, I'm not a big fan of Pathfinder overall. Just the world and shit like that. I would like to see more of those games that mix D&D. Because Takedown and I, with Abzi, played D&D. We had a blast. But D&D requires a lot of thought process. And sometimes you don't want to play a board game that's very dry, but you also don't want to play a D&D game where you're expected to talk in character and stuff like that. And so these kind of games that are coming out where they have almost like a choose-your-own-adventure, they got a little plot, a little, a little fiction to keep you going, and ha have a different path is very cool to me. What a dork. Why is he, what are you brushing your teeth for? You just took a piss brushing your teeth? Did you, sh did you brush your, or did you wash your hands before grabbing that? Yeah, that's what I thought. Um, Game Over Man says, Slay the Spire is meant to be good from what I've heard. Everybody I know likes Slay the Spire. I don't think there's a single person I've seen now who dislikes that game, which is, is crazy. Um, Darkest Dungeon I liked, but I know some people didn't. I thought Darkest Dungeon was pretty pretty crazy, especially when you guys go crazy, you know, lose their mind, go crazy, gain insanities and shit like that. Anybody else play any of these? What else do we got going on? I'm just going to look at the news. L let's look at gaming news for a second. Thank you very much for subscribing. I saw that and thank you for the bits. I agree. I didn't like the PVP version either of what game are you guys talking about? I didn't see that. All right. Uh, let's see. What do we got? Multiple law firms announced class action lawsuits against Activision. Yeah. Um, I went and then returned, and he's got a friggin' toothbrush. What's up, Nor? Thank you for raiding. Kingdom Hearts ends the series with a whimper. Yeah, whatever. Um, Far Cry New Dawn. So let's talk about Far Cry for a second, because New Dawn has some RPG stuff, and it's crazy because a lot of people really liked the idea of the change, because it is a change-up. And then a couple people I saw where they didn't like it at all and um, to me personally, I actually am more interested now for two reasons in the new Far Cry. One, the story looks so fucking cool. There's a part of the story that I don't want to spoil it for anybody, but if it's true, cannot wait. Um, and overall, just the way the game plays out, I actually am much more excited for New Dawn than I ever was for the original. What's up, Nor? How's it going? I love how we have the default emotes and then the the uh, other emotes. Most people use the defaults because mine I made on my own. They are terrible. So so you went piss, washed your hands, and then brushed. Mm -hmm. I'm hoping. Mm -hmm. Yeah. 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 There we go, Nor. There's the so there's my my fucking emotes I made. Because <laughs> it's like you can buy emotes, but they all look the fucking same. They're all like you get you can buy it. You can pay an artist to make your emotes, but they're all they're all shit looking. <laughs> Ooh. Ooh, people are reviewing the new Alien game. The Blackout, the mobile, mobile game. Yeah. <gasps> is that already? I need yeah, to Alien, that. this is the review. Alien Blackout review, not your typical mobile game, Screen Rant says. And I haven't checked it, so I don't know. Um, oh, you miss now? Loved Primal, looking forward to New Dawn. Yes. New Another, Dawn. oh, Primal's so fucking good, man. Primal's so good. I really do think the Far Cry games are so much better when you do not use the map, though. Uh, there's new finer details for Trials um, Rising coming out. The Trials games are a blast if you guys get a chance to play those. Yeah, the Trials games are awesome. You like those too, right, Takedown? Yeah, I'm wait I can't wait for the new one. Yeah, the new Super one looks exciting. good. <clears throat> um, it seems like Generation Zero, it's coming to PlayStation 4, Xbox One, and PC on March 26th. And I gotta say, I played... I was not a fan of what it. I saw. I was not a fan of it. Generation Zero. Um, hey, what's up there, Nor? Thank you for the bits and the dog emotes. <laughs> Love Trials Evolution. Yeah, those the Trials games are just a blast to play. Especially like if you have a good group of friends, bring them all over and they've never seen it. And just watch them freak out when they see that. Just looking at some news here. What did you see? Are, are you going to play Far Cry New Dawn takedown? Uh yes, and the the new uh, Wolfenstein one as well. Wait, what? There's a new Wolfenstein DLC. No, it's a new game, isn't it? 
Oh, oh, okay. No, I was just two okay. Sisters, the two. Yeah, yeah, the two sisters. Yeah. Um, Nor says, "Who's going to be playing Anthem tomorrow?" I am. Me. I think. We just haven't decided when. WRC eight announced. Cannot wait. The new rally game. I really like those. I'm just looking at some of the news here. Battlefield Five may not actually allow people to rent their own servers in the future. Yeah, I mean, with Anthem, I think there's so many versions of Anthem, so many, you know, VIP. Do you have this version? Do you have that version? What, what, um, what beta can you get into? I think it's just confusing for people. So there, there's a lot of people who don't really know exactly um, how to go about it. What are you doing, Takedown? You need to go? No, I'm just touching myself. Wow. Yeah, I noticed you weren't moving that much. Like that. <laughs> Stroke length. Remember when we were talking about fucking um, Johnny was telling us about like the new, uh, it was in our international podcast, he was talking about the new um, thing that can like sense distance or something like that in your hands. It can track your hands. And I was like, great. Mm -hmm. Stroke distance, too short to measure. <laughs> uh, girth. Y you get in Resident Evil Remake? Oh, they're just asking each other, yeah. I, when you were gone, I said law firms are suing Activision over Destiny. And Bungie, Why? Bungie leaving. I don't know. I haven't looked at it. I Wait. don't care. Like, who gives a shit? Do you think Destiny 3 is going to see massive improvements because of this? No. I think it's going to be the same, just with less micro. Yeah. So do I. I think it's going to be identical, right? It just sucks. Yeah. Because I wanted Anthem's Destiny. going to be good. better. Are you putting your money down? Are you making a... Are, I, are you... I reckon Anthem's going to be better. I reckon there is a chance that Anthem is going to end up surprising a lot of people, yeah. It seems yeah. to be getting more and more positive as people go into it versus negative. Like, people are starting to yeah, talk about it more and more and getting more excited for it. I'm just looking at creepy stories on Reddit. There's always some, there's always some creepy story about somebody being groomed. You're the one who told me what that word meant. I didn't even know what the term groomed meant when we were joking because <laughs> I sent you those cards. Um, oh, yeah. The Wii Shop closes <laughs> forever next week. Oh, I haven't used that in about 15 years. That's... It is just for the Wii, right? Yeah, the Wii Shop's just for the Wii, so I don't know who uses that. Nor People says, I'm getting Wiis. more positive on Anthem, but that's because I went on a media blackout for it. Well, they're more positive, so I think you're, I think, I think we're in good shape. I'm really worried about Sekiro, Shadows Die Twice, Carrick, Activision, on the new Souls-esque publisher, Microtransactions, Inevitable. I don't know. I think I'm more worried about what I saw of Sekiro's gameplay. I don't believe any previews anyway. Like, I, in fact, strangely enough, I think I was the only one with a preview of, um, I did uh, Sleeping Dogs 2. No, sorry, uh, Watch Dogs 2. And I did a preview. And yeah. it wasn't incredibly positive. It wasn't super positive. It was positive. But I was like, hey, there's this I'm worried about, blah, blah, blah. And it still, it still gets some views. But negative previews just aren't usually done. Usually the company is so animate. I think the only company that's not is Ubisoft. Ubisoft is pretty open to uh, previews saying what they want to say. It's so funny because everybody thinks certain companies are so like negative and shit like that. And the ones that I've seen, it's almost the exact opposite. Thoughts about IGN Resident Evil 2 reviewing misinformation? We talked a lot about that already at the starting of the podcast. But basically, I think that yes, they did. But I also think some of what's being said is blown out of proportion. Nor says, I'm a Ubisoft fanboy. Are you? You are. I mean, overall, you've liked almost all their games, right? I mean, other than the Far Cry DLC takedown, haven't you liked? Uh, you I liked Odyssey? Assassin's Creed. You, liked, you, sum, you somewhat liked Origins. Um, yeah, I mean, I've never hated an Assassin's Creed game, and I bought them all apart from one. Uh, the only thing I think you weren't a fan of was Far Cry 5, right? Or was I wrong? Well, I, still, I still finished it and enjoyed what I played, but it wasn't the greatest. Can you do me a giant favor and move your mic just a little towards your... It's just a little quieter than you were last time. Okay, thanks. What okay. Other, well, and Trials. Like, all their smaller games. Yeah, Trials. Oh, Trials is them as well, isn't it? Yeah. yeah. Watch Dogs I liked. Far Cry 5 DLC I loved. Okay, I have a question for you. What about Watch Dogs 2? I liked Watch Dogs 2. I preferred the first one, I think. I can't remember. Gotcha. I think I actually might have as well. Steep. I have not played much of Steep. I was not a fan. What about For Honor? No, no, I didn't like that at all. Yeah, I wasn't a fan of For Honor. From what no. I understand, it's ten times better. Like ten times oh, better really? than it was. Yeah. Yeah. It's like Siege. I think those are the two games people bring up 
um, as as seeing the most improvement. I think with Siege, the problem is like you and I couldn't jump in because we don't know the maps. We'd get fucking ruined. Like the last time yeah, I jumped in, I did okay, but I just got I got roasted I, multiple times because people yeah. were just doing shit that was crazy. I do like Siege though. I think it's a good game. So do I. I think I do. I just think that it's it's not it it's knowledge base if you have a high knowledge base of the maps um it doesn't matter how good you are like you that's what the skill is is just memorizing the maps i mean i think that's yeah. the same with everything but i just think the skill base is a little skewed towards that i guess i'll say i'm having a look at other ubisoft games rayman i like rayman, oh, rayman that's a brilliant good. series yeah brilliant what else yeah, rayman forever all the raymans actually even the latest ones are nor at any you just the problem, I, like I'll play games for sure, patron games. Like I love to jump in. The problem I think that goes on with those is that I'm not the only one that is, a, like there's other people that are available too. So yeah, just post them in that meetup thread. Post them like you do. Sometimes we're just too busy, but there's gotta be someone out there who'll play these. I mean, I think with Siege, it's probably easier. I know Abzi would play it for a fact. And I know Takedown would probably play it. I would try. It just depends on time. Like, I was really busy, and people were asking me to play games, but I was doing the Resident Evil. Right now, I'm not doing much other than Kingdom Hearts, so that's something. What about Division, they ask? Take down. I like Division. I played a lot of it, to be honest, on my own as well. Well, and we reinstalled it. Me and Abzi did, because we were thinking of playing it. Yeah, I was going to buy that, and we play that again. Yeah, I, I really like the Division. I liked it when it was day one, and I like it more now. Like, I, I really think Division has good moment-to-moment -moment gameplay. I got schooled. Were you in the chat when I was talking about this? I jumped back in when we all talked about it. I jumped mm -hmm. back into Vision, and man, I got like, man, I don't know what it was. I don't, I don't know. Oh, my dog's unhappy. I don't know what it was. Division two over Anthem for me, Mister Potato says. Hmm. I don't know. It depends how Division two if it's going to be any better. The Christmas setting is spot on for Division one. Nor says I would agree. I think that that's <gasps> that's probably my favorite part. What were you going to say? Yeah. Take down. No, just looking at more Ubisoft games here. I didn't even... Go for I it. forgot about Splinter, Splinter Cell. Oh, brilliant of course. Series. Of course. Brilliant. Yeah. Beyond Good and Evil. Mm -hmm. Amazing game. Mm -hmm. Prince of Persia. Amazing yep. series when it was first going. 13 they did, apparently, which we love. I oh, think yeah. With David well. Duchovny? The Cell Shaded yeah. one? Oh, that game is amazing. They've made so many games. Jesus Christ. Sherlock Holmes? Oh, no, that's not the one I'm thinking of. That's not Crimes and Punishment. No. Yeah, Crimes and Punishment, Sherlock Holmes was good. Brothers in Arms, which I loved in the beginning when they came out. They did, uh, they did, um, that, that, uh, World War II game too, right? The, where you send people out to get resources, and it slowly devolves, and everybody goes crazy and dies. You, remember. you're like in a building, it's, this war is mine. Oh, is that them as well? I think that's them as well. Uh, Nor says, I love the Sherlock games. Yeah, Sherlock, so if, if you want a good game that is really thought-provoking but looks amazing, Crimes and Punishment on a current system looks fucking incredible. And it beats Don't Get Devil's Daughter. That one, not so much. But yeah. Crimes and Punishment is, oh, so good. They've got more. Fucking hell, they just keep coming. Cold Fear, which I loved. Yeah, but anything newer, because I think you're probably going back in time. Now I'm right. going forward. Cold, Cold Fears 2005. Now I'm on to 2006. Call of Juarez. Oh, yeah. I take down, or uh, Silver liked the second one of that. I thought the first one... I thought they were good overall. Or no, he didn't like the second one. He liked the one where it was like the first-person shooter where you were, you uh, were changing yeah. your story as you went. Assassin's Creed, obviously. We're yeah. up to now. What about this 2D Assassin's Creed games? Did you ever play those things? I bought them last week on PS4. They ain't great, I don't like man. them. I oh, don't they like ain't me. great, bro. You get a refund. What else? Oh, uh, Silent Hunter series, which I actually like. Yeah, the submarine simulators. Yeah. Why is Resident Evil 4 on the list? They didn't have anything to do with that, did they? I believe they published it for the Wii U. Oh, If okay. I remember uh, right, they, they took over publishing. Oh, no, PC, it says. PC. Yeah. Okay. Gunslinger. Thank what? you, Holt. That's what it was. The Gunslinger uh, Call of Juarez. You're right. Why would they go to Ubisoft to publish it on PC? Wouldn't uh, because Capcom the do that? They could, but Capcom may have not wanted to put the money in. So a publisher who thinks mm. it'll do well will say, hey, I'll give you a deal of, of some amount of money. And they they split the any any they make. Yeah, that's weird. Far Cry 2, Haze. 
Which Far my Cry Japanese is your favorite? Coach. I think the originals are my favorite, where you have the powers. Yeah. Like Far Cry Far Cry Instinct. In the Parad in the in, in the Paradise yeah. area. Yeah. Well, you get the powers halfway through the game in Far Cry One. Yeah. Yeah. I, I would agree. But they're my favorite. Far Cry the original, and you could do the different shaders on your graphics cards so you can make it look cell shaded. You can make it look like super black and white. You can do a couple things. What else do we got that's yeah. not game related before we go? Anything amazing and cool? Any any uh, new movies you're interested in? Uh, I, did, I didn't see many trailers at the cinema because I was watching an anime. You went in to see what's it called, Broly or whatever? Dragon Ball Super Broly. Yeah. What was it good? It was amazing. I love those films and that series. So it's just so, it's just an anime released in theaters, right? Like that's... Yeah, but it's the first time I've ever seen the cinema packed without any seats free the first time i've ever seen that in my life because it's made 81 million worldwide which is sh the sh biggest anime film of all time really 81 million for an anime is unheard of it usually makes two two million three million but 81 is just ridiculous thank you very much for becoming a uh, follower brooke yeah so when it comes to the theater i almost never see them full I think the last time I saw it full was probably one of the Avengers movies. But then you still have a missing person who maybe, you know, couldn't get there in time. Reserved. Do you have reserved seating? Uh, Where you are? Yeah. We, every, every single time we go to the cinema, we, we pick our seats in advance. Yeah. All of ours is reserved as well. I yeah. loved waiting in line. This is going to sound weird. I like the anticipation. So I used to love sitting in line and waiting. And, and like, you know, talking about what the movie would be like. So I miss that, but having reserved seating means I get the exact seats I want, and I'm very particular. Yeah. There is a very specific same. seat I want, and yep, every time, same yeah. same seat. Yep, for me. So the moment, like, it, I get an alert on email that's like, "Hey, this movie's you know available," I'm just like, "Fucking boom, jump into it." We also had a very cool thing. We had the ability to see a movie four months early, a private screening with a review. That's cool. Yeah. So in our town, got to get them acoustics in the theater right. Yeah. Got to stop turning up, cranking up the fucking music. That's what happens in ours, is they crank up the sound, and it gets so sound. loud. And and I'm a... Dude, I listen to music in my car unbelievably loud, and this is worse than that. Like, I've had people leave the theater before and just be like, fuck this, I'm not watching the theater. Like, it's just too yeah. much sound. The cinema gives me cramps. The fuck are you, nine feet tall? We have huge, <laughs> like, we have, we have uh, the mechanic seating where you go... Do you have that? We have recliners uh, in every seat. No, 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 we don't. Dude, you guys, you guys are behind the times, man. We got recliners. We have food delivered now. Do you got? Do you have that? You you order your food and then you get to sit in your seat and they know what so they take your ticket. They look at your seat number and they come and deliver it to you. It's your seat. Nope. So you can just don't get our own. You can just sit back and be like, dude, I don't want to waste any calories. You bring me. You bring me my nope. food. Man, I wish we got that. That'd be nice. Do you guys have steak? At yours, we have steak. steak, we have nachos. Do you guys have any we have of those? Nachos. You have nachos. Do you have hot nachos, dogs? Nachos, hot dogs, not steak though. Steak, I've not heard of. Dude, we have. Oh man, we've got everything. Dude, we're way ahead of you guys. We have milkshakes now, which is a disaster. That's yeah, like, we have that as well. Oh, dude, yeah. Once once they added milkshakes, it was like, here we go. Because I always cheat at the theater. Like I always end up eating bad at the theater. Was, their stuff looks so good and it's so expensive, so your brain gets tricked. It's like, yeah, these, like it's these, better. It's better yeah, quality. Yeah, these nachos for 14 bucks must be better than the nachos. That I, and they're not. They're some no, they're stale they're fucking chips. Fucking disgusting. They're disgusting with the nacho cheese just drizzled on it. Oh, and you're like, nah. and they're in my beard and shit. One time I was oh, eating, nasty. one of my friends was like, dude, you have like half the nachos in your beard. <laughs> when you meet them in there. Man, yeah, we, we have all that kind of stuff. We have all the amenities. Did you do anything when you went there? Did you get any food when you watched the anime? Or do you do you skip it No, out? we went for, went for dinner first. Oh, did you? Did you guys to talk about it? Like fight. excitement dinner, as I call them? Go and talk uh, about the movie? Or who, who'd you go with? My brother and my dad. Uh, well, your dad I'm likes cool. this kind of shit, so he might have been excited for it, right? My dad loves Dragon Ball, yeah. Your dad's awesome, man. Your dad's like <laughs> He's the, seen every film. Your dad's like where you people come over, and they talk to you, and then they talk to your dad, and they're like, Hey, can we take out? Can we hang out with yeah. your dad instead of you? Your dad's cooler. I'm like, yeah, man. Probably buys people pot who come over. <laughs> Just joking. Maybe. Um, what else? What else we got? Any music you've been listening to? Mm -hmm. I listened to Eminem's new rap album. Thought it was pretty good. 
I haven't Actually, heard that yet. Yeah. I he's, he's, he did two very close together, didn't he? He did. I'm talking about the one that released surprisingly. That's all I Okay. I, I, yeah. I didn't like the one before that. Oh, gotcha. Yeah, cool. I don't think I did. I was just really surprised how much I liked this, to be honest. Kamikaze is what Mr. Potato Head says. And I was, yeah, it was actually, there wasn't, not every song was awesome, but I've always no, been yeah. impressed by his grammar and his, at, at the speed and, and some of his. Yeah, he's a good writer. Yeah, so he, he really is. He really is. I mean, you can dislike him for hundreds of reasons, but I don't think it would be safe to dislike him, you know, his, his skill with writing. Very cool. Yeah. His first three albums were the best. I think the first three albums oh. were the best when it comes to commercial success. Like, or not success, but getting his name out there. I think some of them are great. The only one I would say I like their first albums is like Kid Rock. I liked his first couple, you know, like his first Bull God and all that kind of stuff. I liked those, but then he just went to shit. I don't even know what you would say his mu music is. Like Texicana. No, to that shit Do you listen? Yeah. Yeah. It's been ages. It's been ages since I've listened to anything from him. Even though, because I, I don't think he raps at all anymore. Well, he, he didn't even really rap. No, I Kid Rock, really did, it was, no. yeah, you know, it was like singing with a rhyme. <laughs> it was, just, it was a little different. It was, it was, it was quite interesting. Do you listen to rap yeah. much? Uh, Eminem's the only rap artist I really like. What do you, music wise, what honest. do you listen to? Uh, metal, heavy metal. All right, rock. here we go. Who? Bring it. Uh, Linkin Park is probably one of my top. You like them? Foo or Fighters. Did Foo Fighters? Yeah. Uh. So did Link you like? Did you like Nirvana and then like Foo, Fight, Foo Fighters? Oh no, I've never been a fan of Nirvana. Personally. Same, same here. I like Foo I Fighters. Like his, I don't like Kurt Cobain's voice. At yeah, me neither. He sounds whiny as fuck. Yeah, he sounds like somebody who smoked way too pot, uh, too much pot, and he's got the gravel and sounds like he's got the same intelligence. Um, I'll always yeah. plug Immortal Technique when talking about rap. Immortal Technique. I don't know who that is. Man, do you know I how much shit I got takedown? I didn't like the guys who did the music for the uh, Need for Speed game. They're the two rap, uh, two duo team. Um, oh, people were so mad at me for not liking them. Um, not copper. Uh, oh, for fuck's sakes. Now I gotta find out. Um, uh, need Speed Burn. Or need for speed rap music. It was. Oh man, who the fuck was this? Somebody's gonna say it. And Allison Chains is way better. You like Allison Chains? Oh man, I can't remember who the fuck this was. Does anybody remember the rap? If you're in the if you're in the channel and you remember the rap um, duo, Jewels, something Jewels. Hmm. Uh, runs the jewels. You ever heard of that? Them? Oh, dude, yeah. they're fucking I I heard from the game. Fucking terrible, man. Fucking terrible. My God, I got so much hate for disliking them. Fucking hor people are like, you, you've never listened to rap. I'm like, no, I definitely have. It's fucking horrendous, man. Like it was that was bad music all the way through. Nav says the new Spider-Man movie was good. Is that the cartoon? Because I haven't seen that. Yeah. It must have, you? have been, yeah. Hey, I haven't seen it yet. You and I are big DC cartoon fans. Have you got the did Spider uh, Super Death Superman Part Two come out? No, Part One's only out at the moment. I'm waiting for both to come out. I, I'm just going to be. I, I'll tell you. I won't ruin anything. But I wasn't. You and I. You know, I'm. A, I think we actually agree on our favorite ones. Like we both like the ga Gaslight Batman. My Gaslight. Yeah, that's one of the best. It was yeah. one of the best. Yeah, just fucking fantastic. And man, the Death Death of Superman. Boy. Yeah, yeah. I didn't have much hope for it to be honest. I wasn't really. That's why I haven't watched it. Yeah, it'll be interesting to see what you think over time. Go ahead and tweet this out if you guys get a chance while we're yakking. Even though I don't know how long old takedown's going to be able to keep going before his old man genes catch up with him. He's like, mm. okay, got to go to slumber. You know what? People are are occasionally giving <laughs> donations. Just so you know, anybody, if you're giving donations to PayPal today and you didn't see your name come up. It should replace Kelly with the new one, but I'm not 100% sure if it's working. So if you did, tell me. I think yesterday one ga somebody gave one and it didn't seem to update. Um, what other music? You like uh, Nickelback, even though you get a lot of shit. Uh, yeah, I love Nickelback. I think they're brilliant. <laughs> I can't wait to see what happens. <laughs> oh, I listened to a lot of Boston, Paranormal says. I like Boston. Yeah, Boston are good. Chicago, Boston. No Mercy from Immortal Technique is a brutal rap song. Highly recommended. I have a feeling, though, I'm just going to say I'll listen to it and not like it. 
I don't Same. seem to. <laughs> I'll, 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 I will try that. I will try it. But I'm just saying it doesn't usually. It doesn't grab me. I usually. I'm listening now. Are you <laughs> grabbing it now? I was wondering if you were. Yeah. yeah. Like Here we go. Let's get a live. We're gonna get a live rap review from Takedown of what is it? No Mercy from Immortal Technique. Do you like Disturbed? I actually like some of their yeah. older stuff. Yeah, I like Disturbed. I like the new some of some of their new stuff, but not much of it. I'm definitely more of a techno fan, though. I'm definitely electronic music of almost all kind. Like Mosh was really good. Do you listen to anything when you're going to sleep? Not anymore. Nope. I would say overall, I everything I do is I put on these because they're comfortable. I just lay down. Abzi says Mosh is great. Yeah, I think I found you, Mosh, if I remember right. Um, Robert Ch Robert Childs, he died. He did the children's song. Was his, Robert Miles. Robert Miles, he unfortunately passed away. He was very good. You listening? Yeah, sounds like someone made it on Garage Band. Oh Don't know wow! If I like it. <laughs> oh, did I? I couldn't remember. I didn't know. I didn't know you knew him. I thought for some reason you didn't like him. You sent me. I'll I'll listen to it later. I don't like to do like reviews on music because everybody's taste. <laughs> Games are so long and there's interactivity, and I think there's more of an agreement. But a lot of times with music, I'm just instantly hate or instantly like. Like there's I'm no. I'm actually liking it the more it is. Really? It's, grower. it's a grower. It's a grower, not a shower? It's a grower, not a shower. It's got a good tune. Phil Collins. Phil Collins is the man. Yeah, Phil Collins is amazing. He's an idiot, but he's the man. I listen to Carpenter some, not a ton. Just depends on when I get a chance. What are you thinking? I'm just looking at Tori's comment, looking at the, uh, the shade. What comment? I'll stick to this for the games, not the music reviews. Oh, oh no! Somebody likes different music! What's going to happen? Let me guess. You like country? <laughs> I like there, some country. Do you know who I like? Hank Williams Sr. Or Jr. No. I liked Shadowface, a couple of his very old kind of things. Um, but I like other... Taylor Swift's country back in the day. Country with Taylor Swift. I forgot that's how she started, didn't she? Yeah, back just before she became who she is. And just, Miley Cyrus. Yeah, Miley Cyrus, yeah. Yeah, I forgot all about that. Man, I can't even... I, I just forgot, completely forgot about that. I'm definitely... I would say I'm definitely not a, uh, a pretentious music listener, though. There's a lot of pretentious people who are like, ah... That prior to blah 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 blah, I'll just be like, what the fuck ever. Like, I don't... Like, I don't, I don't give a shit about any of that. Yeah, same. George Strait, don't even, I've heard of it. Billy Idol, somebody mentioned Billy Ray Cyrus, whatever. Uh, but I love Billy, Billy Idol. Billy Idol, man, back in the day. Cradle of White something. Wedding. White Wedding. Yeah, that shit was money, good. Money, money, money. Is he alive still? Yeah. What's funny is he, he was... looked like a Blade Runner movie extra the entire time he was yeah. alive. Like, or, well, he's still alive, apparently. I shouldn't say. Uh, Johnny Cash, <laughs> yeah. He had some good stuff. Some Johnny dark Johnny shit. Cash. Johnny Cash was very dark. He, he, yeah, well, then my favorite Johnny Cash song is a Nine Inch Nails cut. You like the the, yeah, uh, hurt. what hurt? Yeah, good yeah. shit. I can see that. I can see that. I'm de uh, like I used to like Corn back in the day. Long yeah, I like, time I like that long stuff. Time ago. I I think that now that they're doing their own producing and stuff, the same thing with Disturbed. These comp whenever anybody switches and does their own producing, it always turns to shit. Always turns to shit. I don't know why, but same thing happened to Disturb. They did at least one, if not multiple ones, that were their, themselves producing, and it just doesn't work very well. I'm a huge fan of death metal. Cannibal Corpse, Morbid Angel. Can't say I am. The only one I no. like, King Diamond, I love Merciful Fate, same thing. Um, he's hilarious. Witches in black masses. Super high voice. Just insane, insanely high voice. I, I posted them, I remember in discord and people were like is this like some fucking evil right and i'm like oh yeah i should probably delete that they have you heard them at all no. king, king diamond merciful fate gotcha. or very i've heard of king diamond i just haven't listened yeah king diamond I, I, I really liked back in the day ozzy some some of his stuff i think ozzy, ozzy. is so overrated that it doesn't even track for me now i, I alice yeah. Enchan or alice uh uh alice cooper is the same way I like, like Alice Cooper. I saw him live. He's I do, different. but I still think he's overrated. Well, like Rob Zombie. Yeah. I adore Rob Zombie. Best uh, concert I've ever gone to. Monster Magnet was really good. They did it. They, they were combined. Um, but overall, I think 
he's a little overrated too. Like they get, once they become this certain thing, they just like, it sort of transcends the music and I'm not a big fan of that. What else you've been listening to? Anything? Uh, I've been listening to a lot of a band called um, Grey Days. I think it's they're Grey called. Days. What, what what would you say they were like? It's Chester Bennington's first ever band when he was eighteen. I've gone back listening to that, and it's some of his stuff's really good. He sings so stuff. well. His voice was insane. Don't you agree? Even even back then, though, on his yep. eighteen year old album, when he was a smack addict, it was just. Yep. Well, he reminds me of incredible. Alice in Chains, the lead singer from Alice in Chains. Man, like that guy. That guy had a really incredible voice. But they all die, right? Weird Al, yeah. Walt says. I know a lot of people who think Weird Al is the shit. So I'm not going to say anything about it. I, I, you know, people like him. They like him. I've only liked one or two of his songs. Dire Straits I used to like. Dire Straits are good. They'll never come. That's the problem is a lot of the old bands will never get back together. They hate each other. Scorpions I like. Scorpions. They're done. They retired. Yeah, one of them died, didn't they? Yeah, and then it's just like ACDC. They only have one, no, two members that are the same now. And they replace yeah. the other two. So it's just like at some point, is it just AC or is it just DC? Do you change the fucking name? Yes. Completely? It's well, sad. The only band, there's only two bands that have kept a lineup for more than 30 years. And that's Who's that? ZZ Top have done it for 40 plus years. True. It's a good point. And you two have done it for 40 yeah. years as well. Yeah. Well, wait a minute. Wait the a minute. Wait a minute. Rolling Stones. Have so they changed? exactly the same? Yeah, I thought Rolling Stones is the same. I thought Rolling Stones. I, I thought Rolling maybe Stones. Maybe they've changed, or maybe they haven't. Check maybe them like, out. Yeah. So you're right. You're, um, you're absolutely right, though. Those guys did. ZZ Top, isn't that crazy? They're like 185 yeah. years old. I remember there was a website you could go to where groupies would report sleeping with different people, and they said that the funkiest, stinkiest group was ZZ Top by a mile. Yeah. They were like they never shower. <laughs> it was hilarious, and it was they were verified groupies. Like they were. Like that was there. It was, and then there was Metal Sludge. Did you ever go there? Metal Sludge magazine online. No. They always covered old old bands, hair bands, and stuff like that, all the way to like Rolling Stones. They had hilarious stories about meeting people. Direct Current. Uh, I don't know who that. Rolling Stones have not have changed their lineup. No shit. Who the fuck did yeah. they change? Nineteen sixty two. They had a different lineup in nineteen sixty three. They replaced someone. Okay. So technically, it's not the original. Oh, you're talking about you like you two. Yeah, because even Def Leppard switched their guitarist. So if we're talking yeah, about... You 2 and ZZ Top have had the same lineup from the day they made their band. No shit. Which is incredible. U2 yeah. is pretty incredible too, because like I even have their... What was that giant lemon pop techno uh, CD they did in like the 90s? I've even got that. Quite They've been around that. forever. Like, yeah, they're good. I like them. You like them? I, yeah. I think overall... Joshua Tree. Joshua um, Tree is my favorite. I think some of their newest stuff I'm not into. I'm certain I wasn't into their blues stuff that they did with BB BB King, right? Isn't that his name? Yeah. They did they did an album after Joshua Tree or two, and I was like, oh, Ario Speedwagon, holy shit, that's fucking they're that's good. awesome. They're yeah, they're very good. That's insane. Somebody mentioned Ario Speedwagon. I thought nobody. Would, I thought I would never hear that mentioned by somebody else. We ELO, all are very good. We're who? ELO. Oh, I thought you said Dio. I'm like, he's dead. Dude. Dio's good, but ELO, I like. Um, it is interesting, though. I posted in the Discord, like, different. we all posted different songs, and it's so funny that, like, three of us at the same time posted that 99 Luft Balloons song. Oh, yeah. 99, 99 Luft Balloons. And she's There's doing it now. Stuff. And she, she's only yeah. got one song. She's doing it now, and she looks amazing. Like, I was... I was blown away. Do you know who I used to, uh, who I love, but they, they stopped touring. They are done fully as Roxette. I used to really like Roxette. Oh, Roxette, really good. Yeah. Owner of a Lonely Heart, is that them? No, uh, Owner of a Lonely Heart is... Owner. I can't remember. Uh, Roxette's the female lead and the um, high-strung high, high fucking guitarist. And they did, like, um, Listen to Your Heart. and uh, Oh, Listen to Your Heart. Yeah. It's unfortunate she is so ill. She's been ill. She's had cancer multiple times. And this last... She, she has a brain like a brain disease and this last oh. this last tour they had to cancel because so i would have liked to have seen them she's got a phenomenal voice like insanely good i love ario speedwagon keep on loving you is great i don't know keep on yeah keep on loving you yeah that's good i ario remember any heart was by yes thank you yes do you know who i just listened to yesterday bg's it's DJ, a tragedy really them. with a really high voice i don't really like him i just find his voice hilarious just, it's a tragedy. It's just a fucking, there's, I can't believe a dude is singing that. Foreigner. I like Journey Foreigner's now that good. they've got the new lead singer. It's pretty cool. Journey's good. 
Uh, Steve, what's his name? The main singer just released an album. From what I understand, "Don't Bring Me Down." I don't know who that is. Don't bring. Don't me bring down. me down. Oh, oh, Jesus! I don't know who sings that. Hello, isn't it? Is that Hello. who it is? Oh, you um, mean Electric Light Orchestra? I thought you were saying "Ello." Yeah. Like I thought it was like some yeah, fucking British Light band. Orchestra. But yeah, Hello. Electric Light Orchestra. Don't bring me down. I love that song. You know what? Man at work. Man I at bought work. their album, Electric Light Orchestra, thinking they were techno. When I like techno, uh, and I got them, and I'm like, "What the fuck is this?" And I think I, from that point on, I'm like, "Whatever." Herbie Hancock, somebody mentioned. Man, that's a fucking. Now we're going back to the days when MTV played music. Remember when MTV actually played music? That was insane. It was like you always had this stuff, and then it was like Yo MTV Raps came, and it was like game over. I'm trying to find the name of this band. What song? I can't, uh, I can't, I can just remember one of the guys' first name was Graham. Graham? And he, Graham, yeah, he changed. Uh, Cisco, the thong song. <laughs> thong, thong, thong. <laughs> <laughs> there was like nothing in that. There was, it was one of the most vacant songs. I listen to Heart a lot. Yeah, Heart's good. You know, the lead guitarist for Heart, um, what's her? I fucking can't. I did, just was talking about her a couple days ago. Uh, we got to see her playing solo. Uh, just her playing guitar. And other than a very few other people, like I honestly think she's one of the best guitar players in music. At least at the time when they were really, really popular or they were doing really well. I don't know if she's as good as she was. I saw this in probably early two thousands. Rainbow. That's it. Rainbow. That's then. <laughs> yeah. That sounds awesome. I don't know who that is. Rainbow. No, Rainbow. No, I mean I don't know. I mean I may have heard a song of theirs. I don't even. Yeah, I've never uh, heard. Let me have a look. They've been going since nineteen sixty nine. Really? Where is it? Yeah. I would have thought of would. I bet you you'll mention a song name, and I'll be like, oh, I didn't even know that was Rainbow, and I've, I bet you I've heard a bunch of their songs. I've got to see a lot of people live. Have you seen anybody live? I've seen loads. I've seen Foo Fighters, ACDC. Was Iron Foo Maiden. Fighters good live? But Foo Fighters was amazing. They Have got, you ever uh, been unhappy live? I'm sorry. I keep interrupting you. Continue. Foo Fighters. <laughs> That's okay. Anyway. Yeah, no they shit. Had, um, <laughs> they had the guy from Queen come on, uh, Roger Taylor. That was cool. Very cool. And, and Brian May came on as well with them. So they had half of Queen come on and do a song with them. No shit. Thank you for subscribing. Yeah. Appreciate it. Um, no, I've seen you, loads of bands. Who, was there anybody you were disappointed with? No, to be honest, never. I've been disappointed by and also impressed by the same band. Def Leppard. When they start a tour, they sound amazing. But Joe Elliott is a smoker, and mm. he gets to the end of his tour. And most people will choose the end of the tour because they like ragged music. A lot of people who like live music sort of want to hear it ragged. They don't want to hear it studio style. I'm more of a studio style, and I've seen them. I've heard them at both ends, and man. I, it's bad. I mean, he's breathy, yeah. right? He's like, you know, photograph. <gasps> Even though, considerably, I've heard other singers say photograph is considered one of the hardest songs to sing without breaking. Do you know who I like still, and I'm listening to a bunch, is Unleash the Archers, still. I'm, like, I showed you guys their, that chick, and, like, I, I found all their old albums, and I'm still listening to, to her. Her voice is unbelievable. Like, I'm, I'm surprised. Do you even know, do you remember who I'm talking about, Takedown? The hard I rock, I the Archer chick something? who just like, uh, it's called uh, Unleash the Archers. Unleash the Archers, that's yeah. it. Motley Crue, I love Def Leppard, so do I. Motley Crue or Guns N' Roses? Motley Crue's done, so I guess it has to be. And fucking uh, Axl Rose looks, I swear to shit that dude had some fucking like backwards compatible shit going on. He sings better now than he has in the last 15 years. I don't know what's going yeah, on with doing, him. Maybe getting in dude. shape, right? Losing his 800 yeah, pounds. Yeah, probably. Dude, he was getting hefty. Did you see like 10 years ago, Chinese Democracy, who I actually like some of the songs on that album, but man, they yeah, were same. I like, I like a few. Uh, I didn't like Immortal Guardian. Uh, the thing about me is I may like a, I am very particular. So I'll like one certain thing. And then like somebody was like, oh, if you like female singers, listen to this. And they gave me like 800 different bands and every band I hated. It has to be a very particular thing. And I, I would never be able to tell you what it is when it comes to music. That's why I'm not very pretentious about it. Because I like Katie, I'll listen to a Katy Perry song and have no problem. Like, it yeah, just, it, it, it depends. It won't be all her songs. It won't be all 
of any band's songs, usually. Usually it comes it comes and goes. What are you looking for now? Nothing. I'm just looking at the time. Oh, yeah, you got to go. Half past. Yeah, we're it's half past. Kind of yeah. We'll let you go. What sort of music does Unleash the Archers make? Hard rock, I guess. I mean, the thing is, is people, there's all these genre names. That's another thing. I'm not pretentious. I have like six genres, and then I'm just like, we're good. Pretty soon you're like, they make death metal nuo, blah, blah, blah. That's just a pretentious light, line of bullshit. That's like splitting off your genre because you think it'll be fucking cool in your video game. It's just the same old shit. I'm old style. That's it for us. Yeah. I think we'll wrap it up with me bitching about music. Yeah. <laughs> We're going to let Takedown go to bed. Go, go or, to sleep. Or play then... Dragon Ball. You're going to play Dragon Ball before you go to bed, right? I'll probably play Dragon Ball for 10 minutes and go to bed. Copy that. Everybody uh, else, I want to say thank you very much for watching. If you get a chance, subscribe to Takedown. He's, uh, subscribe to me. I need 11 to get 100. Woo! What happens at 100? Just a round number? Because I know you say you hate <laughs> audio. Are you like at 64 or 63 or something? You're like, I fucking... 89, I need 11. Yeah, he hates he hates any odd stuff. It's got to be it's got to be an even please, number. Please, please, people, I need 11. Otherwise, I'll, if I get 99, I'll just you know what? Fuck giving Twitch. him 11. Give him one. It'll still be even, and we'll be able to hear him bitch. <laughs> anyway, that's it for us. I want to thank everybody for coming by. It was an absolute blast. If you get a chance, subscribe. It really does help. Last videos were demonetized. I want to say thanks to all the patrons too. My dog knows I'm done. He me he fucking absolutely can tell. Um. I want to say thanks to everybody who gets a chance to support the channel. Hopefully I've saved you some cash, maybe found you a game you weren't uh, aware of. And if, if I have, feel free to subscribe for that. Feel free to subscribe for Takedown. He'll, he'll stream once every three months. Just joking. If I get 100, I'll, I'll stream every day again. <laughs> well, are you going to stream this week? Uh, it's because I go to bed at 10. I, if I stream really early, then I never get any more. Most of my oh. audience seems to be American. Gotcha. Gotcha. So you it, uh, so you find that if you stream before like like right now, ten thirty. Well no, ten thirty we were getting people. Ten thirty my now time. Now would be good, yeah. Ten thirty my time is still too long. six. Yeah, but stream That's for true. Yeah, ten thirty is my start time. We'll just we'll keep streaming. Because Abzi and I stream, yeah. we had watchers. So but I get yeah. yeah, I get what you mean. Anyway, that's it for us. Thank you, everybody. Hope to see you in Discord. If you get a chance, we'll be uh, back in there in a little bit. Peace out, everybody. Bye.